Hey everybody, how's it going? It is time for once again us to get back into the world of Yakuza. So, in our last adventures, uh, we were still stuck in Majima's uh, story. Ninja, I, I saw that dragon. How's it going? Uh, we were stuck in Majima's story. Still, I actually spent more time goofing around with him than I did actually further furthering his story. We did a couple of side stories, I believe. Uh, we also got the location of the Sunshine Cabaret Club to basically be Majima's version of Kiryu's real estate uh, business. And there's also some other things that we did. I think we, we did like the side story over here in the park. And there was the, the dancing stuff over here. And I got my ass kicked by Mr. Shakedown, so he's got a boatload of money on him still. But yeah, uh, we can't really do much of anything right now because every other way is blocked off. So all we have left to do, I'm going to guess after this, it's going to swap back to Kiryu. So I guess for now, we'll just send uh, Majima to the Grand and we'll just see what, uh, what we have in store. I think what I'm going to do is... Now, oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to finish up Majima's story tonight and hopefully to, uh, we can do some Akira stuff. I really want to focus on doing like their main jobs for each one. So if we actually have uh, more time to play with Majima and be able to open Shotenbori back up to us, we're probably going to be focusing on the cabaret tonight. Because apparently there's like something really special if you actually do complete the, the little side uh, side story with the main job sides for each of the characters. If we do, if we go back to Kiryu before we can really do anything here, then we'll just do his stuff instead. Ah, nothing like being at the Grand. This place is pretty grand, I have to say. Who's playing the piano? No one's at the keyboard or at the keys. All right, I'm guessing I have to go upstairs. I'm gonna guess I have to go up to like the offices upstairs. Damn it, dragon! Hi, Moon. Yep, up here. Also, yes, Dragon, I did get that E-Pawn. あ、支配人、おはようございます。お。支配人にすぐその保護司会館に来ていただきたいとしかおっしゃらなくて。支配人。わかった。よう伝えてくれたな。いえ。それでは失礼いたします。Okay, sorry about that. While that cutscene was playing, I had a message I had to respond to. Alright, uh, let's see if there's anything to do in here before we head back out. Alright. Wait, did I actually... I have to wait till I go back out into the streets. I'm gonna guess I have to meet him by the massage parlor. If that's the case, then I guess maybe we can just make a stop at the cabaret on our way there. How many CP do I have? I don't know. If, oh, CP. Uh, only two. I think we need three to unlock another girl for the club. So unfortunately, you can't really do much of anything. I could pay a visit to the weapon shop. Maybe get a new weapon to take on Shakedown. Because he still has a boatload of money on him. But that's really going to come down to, will I be able to even get to him? Is the city... Nope, it's still mostly blocked off, but he's actually down by the massage parlor. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm good on health. Let's see. In terms of medicine, let's see. Store a lot of health. Heat significantly. All right, so... Oh, it doesn't restore a lot of health. Health and heat, health and heat. All right, I think we can take him on with the weapons or with the medicine we have on him right on us right now. So I think I'm actually going to try and take him on here, here and now, right after I deal with these guys, and then we will uh, head to the club. Where'd you come from? Don't you know who you're messing with? Ooh! Mm. Hang on a second, I felt that one. Okay, we're good. And he is out of there! Damn it, he moved. He's back up there. Ah, great. Do, 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 do. Sneak by them. Don't mind me. Uh, let's see. How are we in terms of... Oh, weapons are mostly broken. My guns are still good, though. Tech 80, attack 60, attack 105. At least I will have something with some range on me. No, 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 no. Yep. Out of the way, people. All right, he is all the way back there. Ah, damn, all right. Uh, 151 million. Yeah, you come out here. <whistles> yeah, here I am. Come on. Oh, you're approaching me? Well, I can't get paid if you don't come any closer, so come as close as you want. Hey, buddy. I'm flat broke again, liar. I want to go to a cabaret, though. So I need more money. Well, you know what? That's a funny thing. I need money as well. Oh, right. He hits like a truck. Might just rely on using heat moves to take him out. I only have a million on me, so it's not like it's going to break my bank. Uh oh Get up, get up! What's the lighter do? Ah, the lighter is absolutely useless. Let's see, attack 80, attack 60, shotgun. But first... Boink! And... Bonk. Get up, get up. All right, come on. Batter up. Stand back. I got a gun. Uh oh. Wow, that stomp does a lot of damage. Oh, wow, that actually does a lot of damage, too. All right, you know what? Eh, you know what? Screw it. Get out of here and give me all that money. 
Ooh, sweet, sweet payday. <laughs> the hell? You'll be the hero of Shotenbori. If I get en enough cash off of you, I'll leave all the defenseless citizens alone. Good deal, right? I don't know. Sounds like a pretty shit deal to me. Shotenbori's a lot more fun since I met you. You know that? I'll be seeing you again. Just please don't bring a shotgun this time. Kawahashi was stronger than before. If he keeps getting better, I might have trouble beating him next time. Better make sure I'm ready to rumble. Eh, all you need is a shotgun, and we got this uh, in the bag. Hi. Ma'am, are you looking for work at a club? If I can recruit her to come work at our club, she looks like she might be do pretty well. We need as many girls as we can get. I should try to recruit her. Hey, this may sound nuts, but what would you say to a job at a cabaret club? What? A cabaret club? Hmm. If you gave me a present, I'll think about it. Let me think. A purse would be nice. If you can buy me a designer brand name purse, I'll be happy to work for you. Is that a brand name per se? Alright. I'm not gonna mess around. I'll have to buy one at one of the boutiques and give it to her as a present. Ugh. The things I do to help this club out. Alright, first things first. Let's get some new moves because we got money to burn. Reduce lost tea. Poise Soul Freeze. The heat gauge will rise when you strike a freeze pose after tapping X and Y repeatedly near an enemy. Alright, let's get Majima's health up. That was actually a pretty significant boost to it. Launch a counter attack when an enemy breaks through your defenses. Hmm, boost Majima's maximum health. There's still two more health up increases. X four times and press Y repeatedly. The uh, uh, secret of the strut. Essence of a coiling snake. Unleash a rolling attack in which you latch your, onto your enemy and use them to take down others. Run up to three enemies and press Y on the third heat bar. Hmm. Uh, what do we got for Slugger? It looks like, uh, no, there is one health increase over, actually, there's a couple health increases. Oh, no, wait, these aren't health increases, these are weapon power boosts. Weapon Master for Kai Sticks, Weapon Master for One-Handed Sticks, so I'm gonna guess Tonfas and just, like, Small Arms. Weapon Master for Bats. Oh, there's a Tonfa. Azure Dragon Spirit, bolsters your defense when in heat mode. Mm, not bad. Increase the amount of heat gauge rise when you attack an enemy. That is probably the most useful thing to get. Alright. Uh, mm, it's 50,000. Or 50 million. I think I'm going to save my money for now. We are going to need the money to A, get a purse for that girl, and B, uh, to spend it at the cl our club to help increase the girl's ranks. <laughs> well, why, do you, why do you have to have th uh, thinking luck, dragon? Get out of here. Come on. Nope. Ah, damn it. Off you go. Oh, would you look at this? An umbrella. How thoughtful. Oh, 
All right, over to the ledge you go to. And then he drowned. More money for me. All right, where's the place where I can buy some high brand stuff? Imported brands, there it is. All right, uh, let's see. French wallet, Italian. French handbag, Italian shoulder bag, Swiss watch. Handbag. Italian men's necklace. I'm gonna guess it is just one of the bags. We'll go with the French handbag. All right, a shakedown back in the streets. Yes, he is. Probably doesn't have a whole lot of money on him, though. And I don't know if I'm going to... Ah, hang on a second. I don't think I'm going to fight him anytime soon. We got a pretty decent payout from him. Breakdance right on top of him. The ultimate disrespect. Well, Majima will be done by Super Mario tonight. Here you go. What do you think? Oh, this is very nice. Sure, I'll work at your club. I'm Hamari. Thanks. Harumi, sorry. Alright, I recruited a new girl. Because we've got some pretty good girls in our lineup now. I'm gonna have to up my club management here. Alright. Alright, I can't go back by the temple. Usually by the temple, uh is a girl from like our side missions will pop up occasionally, so I'll see if we actually do have a new person that we can recruit as well. And shakedowns all the way down there. Okay. Please tell me Majima can get a golden suit. Maybe. I think we actually do have to beat the story before we're allowed to change Majima and Kiryu's outfits. So, only time will tell, Dragon. I can't have a nice stroll through Shotenbori without getting harassed by hooligans! I just want to break dance in peace! Alright, you know what? Tonfa. Come on, come on. Take a swing. Mm. Majima is going to have a pretty high body count by the end of this adventure, I swear. 
All right, there's no one new waiting for us. I can't just stroll through a shady alley without fighting shady people. This is supposed to be a nice shady alley. All right, let's see our lineup because we actually do have a pretty high roster, girls. All right. Club status. So far. We're only attracting people from Mars. All right. So Dolly, she's good at beauty, cute, and funny, but sexy is not her strong suit. Doll girl's mother. Many men are struck by her devotion to her daughter. Uh, that's Akna, straight as an arrow. She worked at the bank and is well liked by older men. She's perfect with sexy and funny, beauty and cute. She has actually is actually a pretty good all rounder. Uh, Shimoni, beauty is not her strong suit. Sexy, cute, and funny are her strong suits, though. The number of men she slept with is in the triple digit di uh, digits. She's a man eater. And she's an S rank too, so might have to spruce her up a little bit. And then we got a bunch of uh bronze. Alright, uh let's see. Uh, she's the only one that we can still pr um, do a makeover. Alright, uh, let's see. Put her on. Put her on. These two have the exact same face. And so do these two. Actually, a lot of them have the exact same face. Her talk is horrible, but her party. Uh, her talk is horrible, but her party is pretty good. Love and skill are also pretty bad as well. Talk is horrible. Her love is good. Wow, a lot of them. Their talk is just straight up horrible. Her talk's good though. Uh, let's see. What do we have in terms of everything? Let's see. Sexy, sexy. Da, da. All around. So I think... Uh, let's get someone who's good with, like, beauty. Beauty, not good. Beauty's good. You. Alright. And then we'll replace Yuki, Endo, and Namako uh, next time around. Because I think they're... Yeah, their HP are actually pretty good, though. Alright. Let's open for business. Right on that saxophone. Alright, wants to talk, long session, prefers beauty. Beauty, I need someone good at talking and beauty, you. Let's see, I did a match with the new TV head and holy hell, I stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, wants to talk, short session, prefers beauty. You. Akana, you, you got this guy. Wants to be pampered, long session, prefers sexy. I think we had an S rank in... No. All right, you. Oh, but it's skill.
Once a party, long session prefers beauty. Beauty's garbage. You. Would you like to extend the session, sir? I'm definitely going to need to rotate her out soon. It's almost Fiesta time, though. Extend? Nice! Once love, long session prefers beauty. Yuki, you go. Fever time! Yeah, that's basically what the cabarets are. Let's give him a gracious send-off. He's been a big spender. Also, she really needs some uh, a break. Wants to be pampered, long session, prefers funny. You've been a great guest. Please, come back anytime. Also, Dolly really needs to take a break. Holy hell. Ah, damn it. Wrong signal. My apologies, sir. Wants to talk. Long session. Prefers cute. Let's let's give him a gift. Who, who, what? Where? You. I think that's Tal. Damn. I really need to figure out what these hand signals are. Want to talk, long session, sexy. Our talk's pretty poor. Akana's good, though. Mm, I think Yuki can hold out, so let's... Let, ah, uh, nope. Should've given a gift. All right, let's see if we can get a couple more guys in, and then we can extend, uh, do another fever time. You. Oh, we're so close. Can we get level three? You seem like you're having a good time. Would you like to extend? Nah, damn it. Ah, you know what? It's probably a good idea. Hummer, he's actually pretty close to getting too tired. Fever time! Cover charge, 10 mi- uh, 100,000. Food, drink, sales. Damn, we may bank this time. Dolly really upped her game tonight. Mars area, we post some more people. Nice. So these places are like, you just sit down and chat with the pretty lady. Eh, that's basically it. It's basically like a hostess club. I think Japan still uh, does these things, just not like not to this degree. All right, we'll do one more run of the, of the club and then we'll head out. See if there's any side story stuff we can do. One thing we really need to focus on is getting a sponsor. Alright, let's see. Uh, Dolly's still... Uh, nope, everybody... 
Mm, actually, some people need to probably take a break. There we go. And Yuki is the only one we can still spruce up. Alright, any special training we can give them? We can give her customer service training. No, no, I, I wouldn't call it nerves. It's more like battle butterflies. That's so. Well, I guess it's encouraging enough. All right. You ready to pretend I'm a customer? I yes. He Hello, customer. I I'm Yuki. I look forward to having a fun conversation with you. Uh, you sure you got this? Okay, well, let's start with an easy topic. Tell me about some hobbies of yours. Sure, hobby talk. Oh, she's actually talking. Yep, come to think about it, I don't know much about you either. Let's use this as a little practice to get better acquainted, eh? Got anything? <laughs> hey, hey, if you want to be a hostess, you, that kind of talk ain't gonna cut it. I'm just, uh, I just, it just flatlined the whole conversation. He shoots, he scores! Hanasan, thank you so much for the follow. And welcome to the stream. A diary, huh? That's a great start, actually. What do you write about in it? <laughs> Did we just accidentally make her confess to what she writes in her diary? Smooth Majima. Bonsai? Wait, wait, back it up a bit. Bonsai? Would you think that attending bonsai would count as a hobby? Uh, mm, that was not what I thought that conversation was going to go to. Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> it actually was the right one. Are you saying I look dumb, Yuki? Anyways, why don't you mention your bonsai hobby in the first place? Hmm, I see. Well, I think it's pretty amazing. Aren't bonsai trees hard to take care of? I've heard they're actually pretty hard to take care of. Damn it, we were at the awkward point of the conversation where we're just staring at each other not knowing what to say. Line! You really clam up when the guest stops talking, don't you? Impolite? That ain't the right idea at all. Our customers are here specifically to talk to girls, Yuki. You gotta lead them in with some topics. Now, Banzai are very low maintenance. Uh, try to compliment them. If you're drawing a blank on something to talk about, try a compliment. 
Ain't a man in the world who would turn down a compliment. Yeah, his face, his voice, maybe his personality. If he looks even a little well off, try saying something nice about his clothes, his shoes, or hell, even his watch. Wait, is that your idea of a compliment? Oh boy, the road to success is going to be a long and bumpy for you, Yuki. Let's see, what else is a good conversation starter? Do you have some kind of talent, maybe? Eh, on second thought, scratch that. Oh, no kidding. Okay, what is it? Mmm... Older gents, huh? Hey, you see? Everybody's got a hidden talent. They make you the perfect for the older clientele. Hey now, why didn't you tell me sooner? We can't be letting a talent like that go to waste, Yuki. Then it's decided, Yuki. You're going to be our older customer specialist. Every grandpa who walks in here is going to be get assigned to you. Alright, let's change gears. Why don't you tell me about a weakness you got instead? Anything come to mind? Besides everything? <laughs> I was joking! Don't put yourself down that much. Uh, why does that not surprise me? I'm just messing with you. Well, if you got a lot, how about you pick one for me? Anything's fine. Eh? If you're no good at talking to men, why the hell do you want to work in a place like this? You know I'm a man too, right? Yo, you do realize I'm a man too, right? And why is that? Because I'm such a supportive and considerate guy? Hey, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> Alright, I think that's a good stopping place. Thank you for the lesson. Sure thing. Good job. So, let's see. It was a perfect lesson. I was having such a good time, I practically forgot we were training you. Really? That's great! Thank you so much! Keep it up and you'll have those customers melting in like a chocolate in a dashboard. Ugh. You really think so? I do feel more confident now. I'll do my best to work here. Or to work harder. Alright. Oh, well, her training's done. 
And we already got our cast uh, on duty, so I say let's open for business. So thoughts on making your ninja's head an actual TV, not just headwear? Oh, hold on. Uh, wants the party short session, prefers funny. P sure. Um, I like I like the design of your ninja dra dragon. Wants love, short session, prefers cute. Good with that. Yep, let's put him there. Or put her there. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Uh, she's giving a signal. Menu? Yes! Alright, so open palms is a menu. Wants to talk short, prefers beauty. Would you like a gracious gift for your time here? Love, long session, prefers cute. Alright, uh, Shimoni. Or Shinomi. Would you like an extended session, sir? Nice! Love, short, funny. Uh, I guess Dolly. I think we gave the one who had the best uh, chance with him on break. Let's just give him a thank you. Alright, let's see if we can get one more person in before we go to fever time. Come on, come on. Fever time! Let's give him a gracious send-off. Party... Kira... Uh... Kira, you, you got that guy. You're having a good time. Let's give you a good gift. Alright, let's see. Ah, damn it, what was the hand sign? Uh, ice. Ah, damn it, I think it was, uh, glass. I hope you had a good time here, sir. Oh, Alright, what does she want now? I'm gonna guess that's ice. Ah, damn it! Alright, I'm gonna guess that was glass. Yes! Alright, so that's what the L is. Alright, Dolly, you got him. 
wait for... Oh, check. Would you like to extend? Nope. Damn. All right. All right, fever time. Menu. She needs a glass to move your ass. <laughs> We might be able to get one more guest in here. Mm. Ashtray? Nope, I think that might be the hand signal for Tao. Ice. Ah, damn it. Thought that was ice. I think that was Ashtray. Glass. Alright, these seem to be the last of the guests. Yep, it's over. Six million, not bad. And hey, we got a CP, so we can get another girl in here. Dolly is becoming the true MVP. Congratulations, Majima. We top 500 fans from the Club Mars area. Nice. I bet Hino's not happy. Camp, not a happy camper right now. Well, it is Hino. So, he's not gonna stand for this. I'm sure he'll try something. For sure, he might try barging in here again. That'd be bad. Do you think we should keep the doors locked? You donkey dong! How are our customers gonna get in? Oh, right. Uh, th then what are we gonna do? Oh, I know. Why don't we go and check out Club Mars? Huh? Go to Club Mars? Yes, we're going up against them. It might be a good chance to research what kind of man Hino is, and what Club Mars is like. That ain't half a bad, a half bad idea, Yoda. Let's go take a look and see what it, uh, when we got some time. <laughs> yes, let me know when you're ready to go. All right, well, no time like the present. Let's go check out Hino at Club Mars. Good idea. Let's get going. So, this is Hino's Club Mars. Actually, no, this is Club Venus. We missed the planet. Wow, that's really flashy. Yeah, it's a damn eyesore. Hurts to look at it. Hey, someone's coming. Thank you very much. See you soon, I hope, Tab uh, Tabata. Yeah, of course. I'll be back as soon as I can make it, I... <laughs> Wonderful. I'll be waiting for you. Damn. I did that deadbeat a favor and sent I to his table. But he didn't send... Uh, he didn't spend Jack. He know. What the hell does he think he is? Treating I like that. She's, a, she's the number one girl at Club Mars. I I don't want you dealing with cheapskates like that Laos anymore. Got it? Um, but Tabata's a longtime regular, and he mentioned his finances were tight this month. Cry me a river. If he doesn't get the cash now, he's useless. Businesses don't run on kindness to poor parasites. I want you serving the fat cats, because you know what makes the world go round? Money. Money, and more money. I still want to punch you for that bow tie. Oi. 
Listen up, maggot. We need a high-end liquor in the club. And let's pimp out the interior. Use gold leaf or something. Y yes sir. What's with this Hino guy? He's got another thing coming if he... If he's that fixated on cash. Hi. Hino thinks money can solve anything. Including how to run in Club Mars as a business. So he spends as much as he thinks he needs to get more customers in and become a popular club. He's actually spent a small fortune to attract girls from the other clubs. That's why the quality of his talent really set the bar. But the girl who, who's the undisputed number one at Club Mars is I, who's been working there for a long time. She's the number one at Club Mars, eh? Did Hino drag her in along with the gold uh, paved road too? Yeah. No, she seems to be the lone exception. Apparently, she simply wanted to work at a cabaret club and just applied. The girl who walks in off the streets winds up making more money than the girls he spends tons of money to recruit. The irony of it all. Now that's par for the course. You can't expect girls who betray their clubs for cold hard cash to provide excellent customer service. But that girl, she seems so nice. She's cute too. Wish a girl like that would come work for us. Yuki and the others are a bit... plain. Hey, watch it. You say that kind of stuff in front of Yuki, and you're dead meat. Mm -hmm. hmm? What's going on over there? Oh. Do you know them, sir? Yeah. No, just two buzzing flies who need to be swatted. Here's another job for you. Go, go, exper uh, go exterminate them. Yes, sir. Let's go, I. Oh, okay. Uh, are we having an issue with the bugs in the club? Well, this is bad. Let's get out of here. The man who spends all his money on fools is all the more a fool. What are we going to do, Majima? I'm going to take care of them. You make yourself scarce, Shiota. Uh, okay. Alright, well, I can't punch him in the face, but I, you guys will do. Give me just a second, though. Uh, what have we got to work with? Ooh. Nah. I don't really have any good heat weapons. Alright, never mind. Old fashioned way! Come on, take a swing. Add that to the body count. Oh, nope, he's fine. Ah, damn. I think an invisible wall got me there. Alright, where is he? There he is. Ah, damn walls. Alright, fine. You know what? I got a way to deal with this. <laughs> I got a sign! Man, that was rough. Majima, are you okay? Oh. Yeah, I'll live. You know from Club, Club Mars, one of the five stars, he ain't gonna be re easy to get rid of. Take their paychecks. <laughs> All right. Well, I said we were going to do that, but I want to stop at the temple real quick so that we can get a new girl, because I do believe we have the points to spend. Also, you know, it's good to check the alleyway to see if any of the side story characters might have shown up. Nope. I have to. Cool! I got a rifle! And an achievement! Get a top grade weapon from a dream machine. Nice! The shotgun has a golden barrel and packs an incredible amount of force in its shots. Wow, that's a lot of damage! 
I mean, granted, it is a shotgun. But still. Hi, Bob. Yep, we can get a new girl. Hi there. Y yeah? You're with Club Sunshine, right? My name is Kazumi. Could it, can I work for your club? Kazumi, huh? You seem really perky. I think you'll be really popular at, at our club. Oh, she's gold rank too. Alright, uh, I think I'm hurting a little Yeah, I can go stop at the restaurant and see if I can get a rank up with them. Oh, there's Shakedown. Mm, nah. Just because I got this golden shotgun doesn't need, mean I need to flaunt it. Hmm, that was some good stuff. Huh? What the hell are you thinking? What's that about? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't want the leftover ingredients to go to waste. So you cook them? This is a high-end restaurant. We don't serve leftovers to our customers. Besides, you're just kitchen help. I'll never give you permission to cook anything. Come on, no reason to get steamed at her. Oh, Majima. I'm sorry for making a scene in front of you. I forgot myself in anger. It's all good. But now I'm kind of dying to know what your assistant's cooking is like. Mind if I try a dish she made? What? I don't know, Majima. It's not properly made. Why not? I'll even pay you for it. No, no! I couldn't take your money for that. Well, alright then, if you insist. But, it's an... Uh... But it's an exception, and please don't tell anyone else about it. No problem. I ain't no gossip. Um, how was it? Pretty good, actually. Maybe the flavor isn't as robust or consistent to what I'm usually served here. But still, it's pretty impressive. Thank you very much. I'm so happy you liked it. You dummy. He's just being nice to you, that's all. Don't get silly ideas ideas in your head. Wow, I really just want to punch him in the face. I'm kind of getting angry that I have to spend money here. Yeah. Nah, I meant it. I'd even pay cold uh, hard cash for this at a regular restaurant. Oh. <sighs> What's your name? I, um, I'm Nozomi. I'm not on a first name basis with customers here, idiot. Use your last name. Wow, I'm so sorry. Come on, give her a break. Ain't nothing wrong with a nice, friendly feel. Nozomi, keep it up, and you'll make a great chef one day. Yeah. Me? A chef? Um, I'll try my best. <sighs> Majima, you're spoiling my staff. Heh, <laughs> I gotta go, but I'll be back soon. We'll be looking forward to that. Um, goodbye. As much as I really don't want to spend money on this guy, just... Mm. I feel like out of principle, once I get done with this little side story, I am never coming back here. I feel like we're going to recruit her to the club, and then I'm just going to drop that place like dead weight. Alright, back to the club we go. Actually, you know what? I might as well go back there and get some more food just so I can get her out of that restaurant faster. But I need to take a few lumps. Alright, there we go. I said, there we go. Can I get the bench? Ah, oh, I wanted the bench.
Boy, am I famished. I really could use some food right about now. Hmm? Salon Salary Man, eh? That's a Club Mars area business. Partnership fee, 2 million. Expected fans, 70. Sure. Got more fans in the area. Now. Oh, okay, so that's how you get fans. I had thought you had to, like, go to places and do side stories at, like, restaurants and such. Rev up those fryers, because I'm sure hungry. What do I do? Hmm? You on your own today, Nozomi? Majima, what... What am I supposed to do? I... I... Uh... Hey, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. What happened? What? The chef was in a car accident? He alright? I don't know. I got a phone call from the hospital, but they didn't say much. Only that he won't be able to come into work. That's worrying. And to make things worse, we have a reservation today. I don't know if I should cancel it. It's for today? Yes, it's for a regular customer. He'll be here soon. Well, with the chef not here, you can't do much about it, can you? But canceling the reservation could cause problems, too. Why's that? It's one of our best customers. He's been coming here since the restaurant first opened. And today, he's bringing an important client from, uh, for a business dinner. If we close the restaurant, it may be very bad con- uh, It may have very bad consequences for him. Maybe so, but who's gonna cook for him? I- I can do it. I thought you weren't supposed to do that, though. You sure you want to chance that? The head chef will be furious with me if I do. He may even fire me. But I've got to try. <laughs> I see. Well, good luck, Nozomi. Thank you, Majima. I've got to hurry. The head chef will be buying fresh ingredients when the accident happened. We're out of stock on most things. That ain't good. And I don't even have the time to go shopping. I've got to start cooking now. She's in a tough spot. Maybe I should help... Maybe I can help out a little. Fine, tell me what you need. I'll go get it for you. You'll get the ingredients for me? That's so kind of you. Well, what do you need? Fresh salmon? Whole. And a soft-shell turtle. An eel as well, if I have that. I think I can make something good. Here's the money for the shopping. Salmon, soft-shell turtle, and eel. Got it. Leave it to me. Thank you so much. Where did they even sell those? Might be easier to go fishing. Majima, Majima's probably my favorite character in this game so far. I like Kiryu, but he's a little too serious sometimes. But Majima, uh, he has his serious moments, but it seems like he has a really good heart. Uh, I think it was actually the pawn shop. I can actually go buy that. Oh, hey. Oh, not a card. Yep, hold on a second. Need to deal with this. I think I can go buy that high-end uh, fishing pole from the pawn shop now. Just need to take care of these goons real quick. Kiryu just makes you laugh at how socially awkward he can be with him never picking up on it. What the hell did I just get? I don't see it anywhere. Is 
Is it gear? No. Accessories? No. I don't see anything there either. Hmm. Peerless Poles. High performance fishing rod is perfect for sea and river fishing, has top notch sensitivity, and casts further than any other rod. Still 30 million, though, that's ridiculous. Uh, you know, mm, actually, I don't really do darts a whole lot. Is there anything I can sell? Oh, maybe that's like a crafting ingredient. Yeah, there it is. Rainbow textile. Let's see, those are item stuff. Dragon Whisker, that's... I want to save that. That seems like it's, like, really high-end crafting stuff, and I don't know what it's used to make, but I'm sure it's really good if I can figure out what the the weapon is. Ah, oh, crap. I think I can still go fishing. It doesn't look like that area is blocked off. Yep. I can still fish. Go for it. Go for it. Got it. White. A. B. What we get. An arowana. Not bad. It's not what I'd want, though. That looks like a eel back there. Oh, that's definitely an eel. Although, I think I might have missed it. Unless it decides to swim back, but I think I'm going to be catching that fish next to him. Nope, it's going to be that fish. Cool, I caught a purse. A Boston bag? Ooh. Well, that's a one-third investment back into that pole I just got. So you still do the whole agents thing? Uh, are you talking about the real estate agency? Come on. Come on. There we go. That is not an eel. Oh, the, the Chinese shop guy? Oh, you mean sending agents out for weapons? Yeah, I can still do that. Alright, this has to be a turtle. Nope, that's a lobster. Or crawdad.
Ah, damn it, just a wallet. Bronze plate. Alright, I think I might need to get bait. Or maybe I have to use the other fishing pole on the other side of the river. Let me see if I can get bait from in here. Ah, not again. Ow, 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 ow. Now I'm really screwed. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, hello. It's my feet. They're killing me again. I think I can walk again if I rest a while, but... I can't say I didn't warn you, right? Yes, you did. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're running errands again. Yes, I am. I have to de deliver this absorbent sheet in a hurry. What am I going to do? Gunna made that injury worse, didn't you? If you explain why you're late, she'll understand, won't she? But she said she had plans. If I don't get it to her in a hurry, I might miss her. I see. Um, maybe if you have time, do you think you could deliver this absorbent sheet to her? What? I gotta run an errand for her so she can wipe her face? I'm sorry. It's just too much. Is it too much to ask? The idea of me running an errand's flat out nuts. But I'd like to take a peek at the girl who's making him do all this. Maybe she's some kind of special. She's gonna run Erin Coon into the ground at this rate. Maybe I can set her straight. Alright, fine. I'll make the delivery. Alright, fine. I'll be your delivery boy. Y you will? Sure. So, where's your sweetheart at? Thank you so much. She's waiting on the footpath along the river on the Shotenbori Street side. Got it. River footpath, Shotenbori Street, the rest uh, rest up until, until you're good enough to walk. Hi. I will. Thank you. Here's her absorbent sheet. Please get it to her as soon as possible. Uh. Yeah, I'm on it. Alright, uh, that is... I can't even get to her. Every place is blocked off. Looks like she's got a bit of a wait. Ah, well. Let's see. It, does this place actually sell bait, pocket tissues? Nope. Hello, sir. I would like to go fishing. Wonder what's up. How about no time to check it out? Got places to be. Alright, guess I have to take the long way. Jeez, this fighting style is insane. Oh. Alright, what do we got? Restaurant, restaurant. This is... I, that's a drugstore. Open an armor shop. Takoyaki. Nationwide convenience store. That might be the place. That's all blocked off. Wow, she is going to be waiting a long time for those sheets. No, 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 no. People are complaining about that. Uh, whenever there's a new Pokemon, people are always going to complain about it. 
At this point, I've actually built up an immunity to the complaining, and I just drown them out at this point. There it is. Quality bait. I hope, uh, it looks like, uh, it's, uh, no, I can't go fishing. I see something shining down there. Damn it. All right, I guess I had the fish over here. Nope, nope. Go away. All right, we'll do a little bit more fishing. If I can't get the ingredients, then I'll just have to wait a bit. Unless, is there like a plate? Let's see, what's that? That's the temple, that's the pawn shop, that's the imported goods. I don't know where I would have to go to buy the ingredients. So I guess I do have to fish for them. Wait, what was that store down there? Oh, no, wait, I didn't see anything. Never mind. Don't worry, I won't forget. We'll do a little bit of fishing and then we'll take a break. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, there's a couple candidates for eagles. All right, so what was everything that we needed to get? It was a, a soft shell turtle, an eel, and what was the third one? Was it a, a salmon, I think she said? Salmon, yes, and a whole one. A little bit more. A little more. Come on. There we go. Damn it, that is not an eel. That might be an eel back there. Oh, that most definitely is an eel. I hope. Come on, eels. Damn it. This river's just infested with snakeheads. Alright, please let me be right about this. It, although, it, it could also be an Arowana. Who knows? I think I might have missed cast, though. Oh, there we go. A little more. Come on. Come on. Take the bait. There we go. Another snakehead. Super big size, though. Alright, what the hell are you all the way out there? Maybe this is the salmon. Got it. Come on, salmon. Rambo trout. Not a salmon. That looked to be a little too big for a rainbow trout, but all right, whatever. Bag. 
I, we could possibly buy this stuff, but the convenience stores I went to didn't sell them. Oh, that looked like a salmon. I'm getting real sick and tired of these snakeheads. All right, you're moving fast, so you might be a salmon. No, don't swim away. Where'd it go? Damn, I've lost. Up oh, there it is. All right, cast it right here. Got it. Wow, that was one really fast wallet. Only 5,000. Uh, not worth it. Maybe it's not even on this side of the river. Maybe it's on the side that's completely blocked off, which means I can't really do anything. Maybe it is on the other side of the river. All I'm getting in terms of, like, eel-shaped fish are snakeheads. Alright, there's one place I can think of that could be a location I could theoretically buy the, buy the fish from, and it would be the Don Quixote. This is usually an everything store. And who knows, maybe it is the place I need to go. Sneakers, uh, souls. Nope. I guess I do need to fish them. Well, in that case, uh, can't really do anything until those police go away and stop blocking the back back uh, pathways. Because that is the pawn shop that doesn't sell fish. That's high-end goods. And then that's all just activity stuff down here. Alright, well, for now, let's sell the fish that we have. And also that plate that we got. Then we'll go back to the club and then we'll continue the story. We'll do one more post night. And those are all just crafting stuff. I was about to say, I know I caught more uh, snakeheads than that. All right, head back this way. Might as well put all the bait away as well.
You. That's what you think. All right, one more night. Uh, Yuki and Shimoni... Oh, a lot of them... Oh, yeah, a lot of them really need a break. Actually, we might not even do this. They might definitely need a break. Or we might, uh, we might actually make do with some of them. What, what, are, what bases do we have covered? Sexy, funny, good all rounder, beauty. Uh, let's see who we got for beauty that we can put in for at least one more round. Uh, Ume, you you can go in. I don't think we can train... Oh, we can train Yuki some more. And still just Yuki. Okay. Sorry, we're a little short staffed tonight. But hopefully we can make do. We are going to be struggling tonight. Come on, give me someone good. Tell. Ah, oh, no, wait, that was the menu. Mm. Misread it. We are making absolutely nothing. Well, at least one guy's having a good time. All right, that, I believe, Ashtray. Ah, damn. We thank you for your patronage, kind sir. Endo, you're gonna... Mm, yeah, we'll put Endo in, and then we'll see if we can get a fever time going that can help her out. Fever time. Alright, that's not ashtray. Glass? Damn it.
Gracious send-off. Alright, so far so good. I'm getting really lucky with these pairings. Although Edo is about or Endo's about ready to kill over. Let's give her a reward. Ashtray? Ah, damn. I need to look up what these hand signals are. Alright. Not Ashtray. Glass? Nope. It, that must be guest glass, then. What do you need? Guess glass. Nope. Ah, it must be a towel then. Because it looks like she's doing like a raining uh, motion with her hands, so that might mean towel. Alright, we still made 5 million. And we got 12 guests. Oh god, the guest was abysmal. Kazumi was the MVP, though. Hey, we got up a rank. For the talk of the town. Congratulations, Majima. We now have a thousand fans from the Club Mars area. Right on. Looks like we got some momentum going. Yes, I think we'll be able to reach Club Mars' fan count any day now. <laughs> Looks like we're on track. Well, I doubt they'll just sit around and do nothing. Hino is bound to have something up his sleeve. Hey, let go of me! What now? Someone fighting outside? The timing is too perfect. This might be Hino up to no good. No problem. Let's go check it out. Your eye from Hino's Club Mars. We got scammed out of our, all of our money from that asshole's club. You're gonna do something about it? What can I really do? I mean, if you're gonna play, or if you're gonna, yeah, if you're gonna play, you have, you've got to pay. Shut it. My wife took the kids and left me because of that damn club. You're part of the problem. Yeah, it's time for you to fix it. Fix it by doing what? What's all this crap? Sounds like they spent too much money at Club Mars, and were driven to bankruptcy. Bankruptcy? They paid at the cabaret club until they went bankrupt? He knows clearly know how to bleed his customers. He'll let them play until they run out of money, and when they run out, he'll loan them money to let them play more. With, cl uh, with cutthroat interest, of course. I gotcha. Pretty nasty business. Yes, that's why so many people hate Club Mars. Doesn't surprise me that it's all... Uh, doesn't surprise me at all that this girl has to deal with something like this. Of course, the girls would have no idea that they're being targeted. He doesn't tell them how he's driving their customers into deeper debts with his loans. Uh, Majima? Hey! What are you... Yo, you lot. Why are you making a scene in front of the club? What? We're busy here. Fuck off. You sound... 
You surround a girl and threaten her? You ought to be ashamed. I'd ditch her sorry ass, too, if I were your wife. Say what? Sounds like you want to die, asswipe. We'll get this shithead first, then, you know, kill him! Oh, what a pain. You alright, lady? This is gonna get ugly, so maybe you should take a step back. Thank you. All right, time to dance. And to the sound of this music, it's really fitting that I'm doing doing Breaker. Boink. And bonk. Nope, I wanted this one. That was underwhelming. No, Majima, you're just too strong. But why did you... What's all that noise? What on earth happened? Huh? Who are these people? Have you been beating people up again, Majima? Why do you always gotta assume it's me? <laughs> Guilty as charged this time, though. These bozos were making a racket in front of the club, so I figured I'd do something about it. Really? You beat them up just for that? Majima, you can be such a monster. No, no, that's not true. He saved me. Saved you? Um, who might you be? Hi, I'm I from Club Mars. What? Club Mars? Oh, what are we gonna do, Majima? She's from the Club Mars. Come on, calm down. I knew that. Huh? You knew? And you still helped her? What if she's an enemy spy and this is all part of her plot? Aye, why were you in front of our club? Hi. Oh, right. I had a message for Hino for uh, from Hino for you. A message? Hi. Yes. I've allowed you to exist without the kindness of my heart until now, but I grow tired of your buzzing inse of your buzzing insects. If you're challenging the five stars, there will be no mercy. It's high time I destroyed you. Let the tears of defeat begin to fall. That's the message. Well, ain't that classy. Guess that's his declaration of war. Fine. If he's got a death wish, I'll be happy to grant it. That sounds great, Majima. Let's show Hino that we won't bow down to the five stars. Heh. <laughs> sounds like you're starting to grow up here, Yo Yoda. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you're starting to rub off on me. What's the matter, Yuki? You're shivering. Uh, you're shivering. Are you scared? No, I'm just pumped for the fight. <laughs> Don't try to act all tough. Th that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> that's so great. What are you laughing at? You're making fun of me? <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I don't know. It's just... fun. It's fun? Yeah, everyone at Club Sunshine always gets along with each other. You think so? We don't get along at all, actually. It's a nice change of pace from where I work, that is all. All the girls at Club Mars are wound up tight, and Hino doesn't really treat us like people. The way you three talk to each other, I'm really jealous. There's nothing to be jealous about. Majima makes fun of me all the time. Don't confuse the cold, hard truth for me making fun of you, Yuki. <laughs> Well, I better get back to Club Mars. He knew it was gonna blow a socket. See you later. You stay out of trouble now. Don't get attacked again. Majima, right? Hmm? Why did you help me even though you knew I was your enemy? That ain't how it is. Club Mars may be my enemy. But you're just working hard there. You got nothing to do with the lines in the sand. Besides, I ain't jaded enough to let a girl get attacked right in front of me 
and just twiddle my thumbs. I see. Majima, I truly wish you the best. I hope we meet again. She wishes as well? I guess so. That's why she's number one at Club Mars. She's cute. I wish she was my daughter. She does got a sparkle in her eyes. Hey, my eyes sparkle too! See? Look! Boy, it's kind of chilly out today! Yep. Back to it, I guess. What? Hey! See if my eyes ever sparkle for you again! Literally, you could make an entire game out of this subplot. This is just a side story. Alright. And with that madness out of the way, I think it's time for us to take a small break. I definitely need some water. Alright, so, gonna take a small break, get some water, and when we get back, we will jump back into some story stuff. That way, hopefully, it'll open up the back alleys for us and we can do some of the other side stories. Alright, unless it ends Majima's uh, segment for the game. In which case, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Alright, I will see you all when I get back.
All right, and I'm back. It's time for us to get back to the game. And it's time for us to actually progress in the story a bit. As much as I would like to continue with the Cabaret Club stuff, I think we do need to give the girls a break. And I think uh, I actually do have to... They actually take, like, real time to recover. So, in the meantime, we'll do some story stuff. And if things open back up, we can do some side story stuff. And then we'll get back to this. Oh, Majima, where are you going? マジマ。よう来た。またたで。おうちょまで。何興奮しとんねん。そら興奮するに決まっとるやろ。なあ。お前、水草やないか。たった一人で。せやけど、これで一件落着や。ようやったで、マジマ。何の話や。何言って。お
何がどうなっとるんやなんで知らんやつがわしの計画知っとったおいどういうことやマジマさっきの電話の男多分あいつは俺が捨てたもんを拾ったんや公園のゴミ箱からあ俺があんたから撮ったほぐし会館の制服身代わりにするつもりやった女の写真俺がそれ捨てたとこその男はどっからか見てたっちゅうことやそういうことかいなそれつこて誠の死体を偽装したんやなけど何もんなんやもしかしてお前の雇い主とちゃうかちゃう俺の雇い主やったら本人が電話してくる電話の音が別口やけど俺が誠の殺し命じられとんのは承知しとる口ぶやったとなると前にここに来たヤクザどもかまずその関係やな電話の男は俺と取引したい言うとったやつの欲しがっとんのは牧村誠っちゅうことやドライする相手はグランドで俺を待っとるあんたはあの子についててやれそらやけどお前一人でのこのこ出ていくんか相手はお前を待ち構えとるんやでこれ以上うろちょろされたら目障りやからなそれにやつに聞けばあの子が方々から狙われとるわけもわかるはずそろそろ蹴りつけたるNow, I think the person that Majima was going to use as the body double、uh, that Lee wanted us to kill is actually dead. They pulled her body from the river. Guy who called me said he was waiting at the Grand. Let's go meet my newest customer. Go to the Grand! Alright, now the entire city is back open for us. So we can now go and、uh, do the side stories, I think. Yes. Although we got this really intense music playing now. What are you? Biker. They said the face was caved in, so how could they fully identify her?、Uh, by the uniform that the guy stole from us. Could have been planted. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it actually wasn't her. Where's Aaron Coon? I told him I needed that absorbent sheet, like now. Sorry to keep you waiting. Excuse me? And who are you? Aaron Coon hurt his foot, and he can't run on it, so he begged me to get this for you. Is that right? Well, whatever works. Thanks. Hey, how about a little concern for the guy? It doesn't bother you that he's in pain? Huh? Yo, Emmy! What's the holdup? Oh, Tomokun. Sorry, Aaron Kun was kind of slow today. But this man here brought what we needed, so we're good. Nice, man. I was really getting sweaty, too. Anything for you, Tomokun? You better whip that Aaron Kun into shape, though. Gotta give him some tough love if he's ever, if he's so he's never late again. No problem. Hey, what the shit? Excuse me? Wasn't it you who requested that, Aaron? Thought he was doing it for you, so he busted his ass to get it. Huh? Does it matter what Tomokun wants? I want too. We're totally going steady now. Aaron's usually good at his job. Quick. Uh, courteous and free. Of course, he doesn't know we're an item now. These assholes. They don't give a rat's ass about Eren. Doesn't the movie start soon, Tomokun? We better go.、Oh. Yeah, come on, babe.、Boy. Hey, before you go, I'm gonna need you two to make a quick promise.、Oh? We don't owe you shit, man. 
What do you want? I want to beat your face in just for wearing that ugly sweater. Ericoon has run his last errand for you. This stops now. You already got plenty out of him. Now let him go and stop toying with his feelings. Dude, why would I make a promise like that? A good errand boy is tough to find these days. You shouldn't talk so big, stick man. Tumakun could wipe that smirk off your face real easy. Really? Because I wipe my ass with guys like Tomakun. Huh? Oh, you want to get it on? Cool, cool. It could be my personal errand boy. Then we'll have two. <laughs> if you win, I'll run errands for you all over town, bare-ass naked, with the property of Tomakun tattoo. You, you're going to regret taking, talking shit. Oh, you, you seem very menacing. Well, you know what's also menacing? A shotgun! Now that is menacing! Yeah! Buckshot! Not good for the torso! So what do you say about making that promise? Or do you need more convincing? I will! I will! I promise! I won't ever make him run errands again! I'm so sorry! W wait, Tomo! What about the movie? And he died. Well, I managed to get them to stop abusing Aaron Coon's generosity, but do I tell him the truth? Hi. Oh, hey. If it ain't Aaron Coon, you okay run it, uh, to be running again? Hi. Yes, a little rest was all I needed. But anyways, did you get the absorbent sheet to her? Uh. Yeah, I made the drop, but... Hmm? But? <sighs> he has to learn the truth. It's the right thing to do. Well, I hate saying this, but that woman actually has a boy. I know. You don't need to say anymore. I actually saw her walking around with this handsome-looking guy the other day. She looked happy. But I couldn't ask her about him. I was afraid of learning the truth. Aaron. Still, it kind of rips your heart out to know for sure. But... Maybe this is a real the reality check I need. I'm not gonna run any more errands for her. Good. That's for the best. Of course, who knows what'll happen when I fall for the next girl, but that's just the kind of guy I am. Nothing wrong with being the kind of guy a girl can depend on. But it's all about respect. If you both have an equal share of it, then nothing can tear you apart. You're just hoping the next lady you fall for treats you with the same love and care you got for her. Hi. Y yes! I can't thank you enough. You gave me medicine, these sneakers, and you did so much more. Now nah, it ain't much in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. No, no. That's simply not true. If I could only repay you for your kindness somehow. Don't sweat it. My needs are met. <laughs> if there's anything I can do, I can be happy to do it for you. I'm willing to run anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> You really got a thing for running. Hi. Yes, if there's anything I can do for you, please, don't hesitate to ask. Uh. Sure, you got it. Okay, I'll be going now. Aaron will be working... Uh, waiting for you at the Shotenbori footpath. He, eager, he eagerly awaits looking forward to running errands for you. So, I'm gonna guess if we run into him, he'll go off and find... Uh, like, crafting stuff that we can get for new weapons. Alright, let's see if we can get th these fish now. Ooh, this is a good selection. Please, for the love of God, do not let this be a snakehead. Yes! That's an eel. I look so happy. One 
little more. There we go. That is the ugliest looking salmon I have ever seen. That's a cursion. Uh, that could be a turtle. I don't know. Usually when it's a small thing, it's usually just a wallet. I'll take the risk. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. The water's distorting it. Uh, I just want a turtle. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Come on. Take the bait. Take the bait. I think it might be too far out. Mm. Yep, now he's too far forward. Yeah, that's it. Swim back. Come on. Up. Oh, nope. Whatever that is, is going for it. And it's a wallet. Oh, there was not even anything inside. Lame. Come on, turtle. Turtle, 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 turtle. Carp. Is that a salmon? Koi. Mm. I just want a salmon, damn it. And a turtle. Is that too much to ask for? What are you? Throw it right there. Alright, hopefully he'll go for it. Come on, got it. Now hopefully this is a salmon.
Okay, maybe it's at multiple fishing spots uh, each have, like, a different type of fish that we need. Let's try down here. I think this was also a fishing spot. Oh, hi. Okay, no, this isn't a fishing spot. Hello. Hmm. If I can recruit her to come work at our club, she'll probably be good enough to help us. Hey there. You got the look. The look of a lady who could work at a cabaret club. What do you say? A cabaret club? I'm not really interested. Maybe I'll consider it if you get me a present, though. Lady's perfume would be nice. If you buy me one, I'll consider your offer. Alright, fine. I might as well go sell these fish while I'm at it. Oh, wait. Wrong place. Ah, well. I'm already here. Hello, sir. You wouldn't happen to sell turtle, would you? Wow, oh, hundred thousand for each of those niche uh, niche key carps. Get those cursions and the crayfish and the koi. Million for this. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the sniper dart. Why not? It's only a million. All right, back to the high end store. Seems like the girls here, if I want them to work at the club, it's always going to be high end stuff. Which makes sense. I'm guessing they're all going to be like uh, silver or golds. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe Aaron can run an errand for me to get me a turtle. Or did they say that he was going to be? I don't remember where they said Aaron would be uh, standing around. Maybe like somewhere around here. Or, or because you're the manager of the club, they expect more. Maybe. Sorry, make wait. Seriously, there's no other fishing spot down here? Ugh. Alright, maybe I'll get a thing of bait and cast it out. Maybe that'll bring a turtle or a salmon over. your perfume. Fusei. Ah, uh, she's a bronze. Oh well. The more the merrier. Oh, there's Aaron. Yeah, uh, hold on a second. Let me see what I can do with Aaron. Something to fill your stomach. After all you did for me, it's my treat. 
Yeah, sure. Hi. Hey, Tamu. Huh, huh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ooh, steam bun. Mmm, buns. I'm a little winded, but I'll be happy to run errands for you again as soon as I catch my breath. All right, back to fishing. <laughs> Dog. I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. Just trying to catch myself a damn uh, salmon and a damn turtle. Come on, salmon. Come on, salmon. I just really want a salmon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, damn. I'm guessing this is going to be another carp. Oh, oh, I think that's a salmon. Yeah, salmon. It's a super big one. Hey, we finally got it. Now we just need a turtle. You're slow moving. Maybe you're a turtle. Nope, Corp. Alright, let's bait the area. See if that maybe draws any turtles around. Nope, that scared it away, actually. <laughs> Come on, please be a turtle. Please be a turtle. Turtle, fish, crawdad. <sighs> I just want a damn turtle. Not a turtle. That is the ugliest looking turtle I have ever seen. God. Who's just throwing in empty bags? Come on, if you're gonna throw a bag into a into a river, at least have it hold something. Okay, I have to look it up. Where the hell is this soft-shelled turtle at? Also, that is a really big carp. Alright, let's see. Yakuza Zero. Uh, let's see. soft shell turtle. Other uh, fishing, there's 
Here's the red line. So we got the water I wish I could figure out where the hell this turtle is. South Bank. I think we're on the South Bank. Nope, we're on the North Bank. So he's over there. I'm a man on a mission. A mission to get a turtle. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, from what it said, it's one of these types of spots that is a turtle. I swear, if it's the first one I catch, I'm gonna laugh. Come on, come on, little more. Stop teasing me. No more, got it. Beat. Come on, turtle, turtle, turtle. Yes. We are done. My life as a fishmonger is officially over. Oh, you're back. Did you manage to get all the ingredients? I got them all. The salmon, soft shell turtle, and eel. Should I give them to her? Well, yeah. That's what I did all that for. This good? Handed over one salmon, one soft shell turtle, and one eel. Oh, thank you. That's everything I needed. You gonna have enough time to prepare the food? I... I'm not sure. It's almost time for the reservation. Hi, boss. We're a little early. Hope that's not a problem. Uh, they're here already! Whoa, are you okay, Nozomi? Oh, she's perfectly fine. Why well, don't you gentlemen have a seat? Uh, alright. You okay, Nozomi? What needs to be done first? Um, let me think. Let me think. Need to cut all the ingredients first, then... Then I need to season the... Uh, uh... Majima! I don't know if I can do it. Calm down, Nozomi. Take a deep breath. And don't season me. <laughs> what should I do? There's no time! Well, you ain't gonna get anything done if you panic. It's okay. I'll help you. You'll help with the cooking? I can do the simple things. Chopping, slicing, taking orders, and carrying stuff. That'll free you up to do the rest, yeah? Hi. Thank you. Whoa, I'm so full now. Thanks. Nozomi, I've noticed that the food tastes a little different today. Hi. Yes. Is the boss not in today? Actually... You see, I cut his brake line, and, and so he's not going to be in for a long time now. Seriously? He's been in an accident? Is he okay? I don't know yet. Jeez, poor guy. I hope he's fine. So you've been on your own today? I guess that's why the food was different. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. You must have been terribly disappointed. It's nowhere near as good as the owner's cooking. Well, to be honest, the difference was pretty obvious. I'm so... So sorry. Oh, don't be. It wasn't bad at all. Huh? The boss can do what he does only because of decades of hard work and experience. You can't duplicate that. But you did everything that you could to make sure we had a good meal when we were all when you were all on your own. I could tell you really put your heart into it. You put together a wonderful, hearty meal. It tasted great. R really? I didn't know what to expect, but the food was great. 
And with a lovely, lovely lady like you working here, this restaurant is a real winner. I'll have to come again. In that case, why don't we have our business dinners here in the future, then? Perfect. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, here's the boss. Are you alright? Aren't you hurt? Psh, I'm fine. Did you think falling under a car would kill me? You're not getting rid of me so easily. But then why are you so late? They made me go for a checkup at the hospital. Took ages. Told them I didn't even have a scratch on me. But they wouldn't let me go. What a pain. Phew. I'm so relieved. But now I think I'm about to pop a vein. When did I give you permission to serve food to the customers? I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have done it. Boss, don't be so hard on her. She did great. Listen. <laughs> Boss? Heh. <laughs> you still got a lot to learn. But, you did good. Huh? You took good care of the restaurant while I was gone. Boss? But this isn't anywhere near good enough to serve customers yet. I promise not to ever do that again. I'll go back to doing the dishes. Don't interrupt me. I'm trying to tell you I'm going to make sure you learn how to cook properly. Huh? It's my fault for not training you right. I didn't think you had it in you to become a good restaurant cook. But I was wrong. You proved that wanting to make sure the customer is happy is the most important thing. Boss, thank you. Thank you so much. I won't go easy on you, kid. You'll regret you signed up for it. I can't wait to get started. Majima, you have my thanks. I understand you went out of, out of your way to help save the day. Please, take this for your trouble. I've got a trouble finder. Nozomi did all the hard work. You should thank her, not me. Ah, mm, Nozomi? Yes, boss? Uh, I'm gonna drill everything I know about cooking into your head. It'll be hell, believe me. I'm looking forward to it. Someone's too embarrassed to say what they mean. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Alright, what does the Trouble Finder do? This device will help find people around town who need or in need of help. Does that mean people who... Oh, yeah, it is actually like side quest stuff. That's actually really good! See, there's one right there. There's one by the breakdancers. There's one by the... Nope! One in the far park and one by the... The sushi place. Wait, but there was another one over there. That was at the darts area. Majima is the broiest bro that has ever brewed up a bro storm. Bro. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got back here. Hmm? What's this poster? Drug testing participants wanted. Compensation, 10 million yen? 10 million yen? That's serious, though. But what do they mean by drug testing? If it pays that much, then these half-assed drawings didn't inspire much confidence. Hmm? Oh, hey. Some fine print. Drug testing is clinical testing of a new medical product in development to gather data on the effectiveness and safety. In other words, they're looking for glorified lab rats to try out their new drugs. Seeking young, physically fit people turn one hour into cash. See our staff at Ashitaba Park for details. I probably fit the bill well enough. If I ever head up, if I'm ever hard up for cash, I might worth swimming by Ashitaba Park. Hmm? 
Ah, good. Another soldier for the ranks. Alright, what do you want? A wallet or a watch. Nice, designer brand name one. If you buy me either one, I'll work for you. Ah, there you are. Come on, come on. And this is where I give you the snap! Then these goons here, this is a dance battle! A U branch. I'm gonna guess that is a. Yep, it's crafting stuff. Uh, dare I go in? Dare I really go in? TOS, TOS. Okay, wait, no. I got a workaround for this. We'll, we'll have judgment, uh, judging Kiryu uh, block anything that might break TOS. Why do I have so many cards? Holy hell! I don't remember picking this many up. Twitch is walking in and wagging its finger. <laughs> They can't see it, but they can hear it. <laughs> Moon's just giving me some serious side eye right now. Oh god, it broke the glass with with the for the B hammer. Oh no! Oh no, get it away! Why does she have a, a giant balloon spoon in her hand? And it goes for the swing! Tw Twitch's mod, mod team is just basically gonna come in and do a heat move with me with the band hammer. Or just a hammer. I hate that it cuts to the tissues. It at least gives me uh, full heat. Ugh, that is so awkward. <laughs> hmm. Huh? What are you looking at? Do I got something on my face? No, sorry. I wasn't really... Look, if you want to say something, just get on with it. It's just... You're, you're an unusual customer. How's that? You just seem so confident and stylish. Not the kind of man who might be interested in our shop. That's why you were staring at my face? I'm sorry. I'm a guy like any other. I like to look at, pre at I like to look at pretty girls. That's so reassuring to hear. Different as we seem, we're both just guys after all. 
All of mankind are just brothers and sisters, and all that. Well, if you ever feel like you could use some time to relax... <coughs> just come by our shop, we'll be waiting. This could be the beginning of a friendship. Oh god, I gotta watch porn to increase my reputation with this guy. Although, it's like, incredibly soft core. It's so soft that it's actually made out of cotton. Oh no, he's back! No! Ah, huh? I knew it! <laughs> what are you talking about? No, go away! I could tell we're birds by feather, you and me. <laughs> Just losing her shit. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Alright, the floodgates are open. Oh, I, I need to get some tissues for my eyes. Holy hell, I'm actually... There's so many tears. <laughs> he has returned. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, do like he I do not like that he has abs. He's oh. fitter than me and I don't like it. <laughs> oh no, he's hot! I <laughs> can't. <laughs> 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 <Hi, Tom. laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna leave on him air, <laughs> uh, Welcome to the new intermission screen. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I was lamenting the lack of co-cops, the only, the one thing I just wanted to say, like, just to hop in here just to say it, is an old favorite. Oh no. A classic, jo a classic joke oh, that no. I haven't used in a very long time. Yes. And then they fucked! <laughs> God, you've been waiting almost a year and a half for that, weren't you? I was waiting for an opportunity, and one finally presented itself. Oh, the opportunity yes. fucking came. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. That's not all that came. <laughs> <laughs> the opportunity came, and so has that man held it for <laughs> I made it worse. <laughs> oh my Why are we still here? Just a suffer. <laughs> <laughs> My side's hurting shit. <laughs> my fucking stomach hurts. Oh my god. Oh god. My, my chest. My chest. It hurts so much. <laughs> I can't do me pelvic thrust! <laughs> and here we see the wild Mr. Libido in his natural habit. <laughs> He's performing a mating dance. <laughs> in the hopes that he'll find us he find and attract a suitable mate I think you're before the harsh winter. Demo, I think you already found a mate. <laughs> Why did you move the overlay into such a compromising position? Because <laughs> it was too good. The fruit, it was so low, and I was so hungry. It's fruit thing, isn't it? Where are you? Where are you now? 
Oh my and eyes are Jesus You know Christ. who else is hungry? Uh, that man right uh, there. He's hungry for something. Oh, he's hungry for something, alright. Uh. He's also thirsty. Uh. I think we have uh. officially found Tamo's spirit animal. <laughs> no, sorry. I already hit the spirit animal maximum quota. Uh. I'm gonna have to eliminate a spirit animal entirely before I can accept a new one. Oh god, I need a fucking minute. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, and quite I, honestly, the ones I have are better. This man <laughs> has broken me, me and Moon twice now. <laughs> it, it's he broken us in three times, us. Dragon! Three! <laughs> That's fucking great. You're welcome! <laughs> I could tell we were birds of a feather, you and me. Oh, I don't want to be. I Not likely. I don't want to hear that from a man like you. <laughs> <sighs> Not likely. I ain't half as starved for a lady's attention as you, pal. What are you skulking uh, around here for, then? Just shook hands with a ham... Uh, uh with a ham... Is <laughs> 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 that the ham cucumber? Where's the five-knuckle shuffle? Skit tail to come. Let's you know, Tamo read the text. Let's you know what? The yeah, Tamo, Tamo, Tamo can just read all the lines from this from now on. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Give me a freaking break! <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. Hmm? Uh, well, I was... Oh yeah, I was actually scoping out the competition. Oh, uh, good, it stopped. The competition? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got this nickname, the Lord of the Night. Got to check out the service of all sorts of places, even if it means dropping my own coin. Fuck, you can take it so badly out of context. <sighs> the, mm, the past like ten if you minutes, say so. The past ten minutes could be taken so out of context. Yes, yes it can. <laughs> How about you? What are you doing here then? Oh, you know, just pantsing about in my underwear, <laughs> and sitting people for a good time. I also heard about in the video for a girl I've had my eye on a while, so I raced down here to check it out in my underwear. Got your ear to the ground, huh? This man's confident. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is that all I've got to the I wish I, I was can't half wait as. I've got to see it now. I wish I had half as much confidence as this guy has. Oh no, he's at it again! Oh, that's not all I have. <laughs> hey, the streets are no place for you to get your freak on. They're exactly the place for getting your freak on. Excuse you. Um, uh, context, please. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man! What's with all the moaning? Oh, I think you fucking know what it means. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I call I image training. Okay, time for another round. <laughs> another one? Did he just? What are you, what are you gonna go again? I'm pretty sure I, it ain't normal. I, How do you even get that kind of staying power? <laughs> Please <laughs> teach me your secrets, oh wise one. You want to know the secret? I'll let you in on it. <laughs> all right. So first, you get the lime and the coconut. <laughs> and mix it all <laughs> Uh, it's no good. I can't wait any longer. I need to slam the salmon real bad. Be oh saving you. <laughs> Remember, Jesus friend. Christ. Lime in the coconut. <laughs> I didn't oh, find that oh, oh my god. I can't even. Guess it takes all sorts, huh? Wonder if I'll ever run into that weirdo again. Oh, oh it hurts. God. It hurts to be honest so with you. Try not to crack up while doing that voice with those lines was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life. I'm sure it wasn't the only thing that was one of the hardest things there. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> you got to know Habu, otherwise known as Mr. Libido. Interacting with him? No. <laughs> we'll gradually fill up the friendship? No. <laughs> you can check the status of this gauge anytime in the pause menu. Build up your friendship and see oh, what happens. Man, what no. All the friendship. Ah. Uh, We'll never hear that voice of mine again. I'm kind of hoping I don't. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, I think that broke all of us. Yes. You yes, really? it did. 
that needs to be like a clip. <laughs> a, a clip. That, that, time that, has come, and so have I. <laughs> <laughs> a clip. That needs to be just a straight up highlight. Yes. Oh yes. My God, it hurts. Slap my it stomach on hurts. My my, my chest hurts big time. Hold on a sec. I need to get the people <laughs> to feel better about myself. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That guy's certainly beating something of his own. This is the only meat I like to beat! <laughs> it's emergency meat beating! <laughs> oh no, he's back! <laughs> Go away, Hobbo! I, I don't, don't have any more porn for you! <laughs> oh, I can't hit the okay. no more! <laughs> oh, God, he snorted. God, now God. Tamu has his uh, Habu and Bob. Oh no, please, don't combine <laughs> them. No! I've returned from a centuries long slumber. What's up? Uh, you don't want Where are my raccoons up? at? <laughs> like, you really don't know what's up. Oh, something was up, alright. Although, I don't know you yeah. any part of it. Oh, hey, look at this another card. Oh no. Why, why do just, I feel a very oh. why do I feel a very strange pervy uh, presence behind me? Ha! Nope, he's not here. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Yes, the stocks are up. <laughs> I've made a killing at the stock market. What the hell is this? That guy's stock. That's a bowling ball. Up. Ooh. Yeah, that's a broken femur. Ooh. I thought you were just gonna chuck it right at his head. I th I thought so too. Strike. Mm -hmm. But like honestly, I think it was more satisfying that way. I got a bike. <sighs> we all we all collected. We all calmed down now. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Everything yet. just hurts now. Because <laughs> that guy definitely isn't calm. I don't know. He seems pretty <clears throat> calm laying there, unconscious on the ground. No, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I do not, hey, Dragon. Yeah. Who could it be? Tamu, care to give him a give him a hint? No, do not summon them. I'm still going. Oh no! <laughs> How do you have so much stamina? <laughs> Round thirty-seven. Here we go. <laughs> hey, a toilet. Do I gotta drain the tank? Better now than ever. So stupid. Uh, are you gonna become top? friends with Hanako, Chan? What was that? What the fuck is this game? Are you gonna become friends with Hanako, Chan? Uh, you don't know, know the toilet ghost. Oh, uh, maybe. Well, this toilet, the toilet ain't exactly the model. Of every school. This toilet ain't the exactly <laughs> the model of cleanliness. The walls are covered with graffiti. Most of the gutter talk at best. Pretty sorry, <clears> sorry <throat> affairs. Oh, oh God, he's back. For he's a great in there. time. What's this, Call. Uh, what says eight six seven five three zero oh, nine? What the hell? That For great like time, call the Beto man. Oh no! <laughs> some of this graffiti is done up in here. Is some really uh, real pretty handwriting. Tamo, you showed up at the best time. Jesus Christ! I'm very You're welcome. I'm very lonely. Please reply, heart. Only a lady <laughs> has handwriting that pretty. Who could have wrote this? And what should I do? Mr. Libido. It's Mr. Libido. He's it's back. Not... <laughs> I'll chat with you if you want. There. <laughs> That'll do. Ain't right for a person to be lonely. I, th I think Tamo sends the incoming lewdness. I must be nuts for replying to some bathroom graffiti. The smile on his face. He's just like, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Alright, what do you have? Hey, hmm? Hey, are you here about I, the poster? I honestly don't think that's the end we saw of Mr. Libido. Uh, you know he's gonna come back. Probably with, like, Kiryu or something. <laughs> Almost definitely. I guess you really could say he's gonna make a comeback. Oh my god. God, I thought the Master Sword joke yesterday was bad. <laughs> Was a master you sword joke yesterday? And I for that it. One. It, it involved power throbbing in my hand, and it involved <clears> a lot of thrust. <throat> that was a line from the game, not from me. <laughs> I mm -hmm. you can confirm that. 
That was from see, last night's game. <laughs> see, I, I don't recall asking whether it was from the game or not, so that's a very suspicious denial you just made there. It's sus. <laughs> very sus. <laughs> hey, who has to voice this guy? So I'm just going <sighs> to hover my mouse over the end stream button. Oh, no. <laughs> You didn't see it? A poster seeking drug test participants. Maybe I did see something <coughs> like that. Yeah, actually, the poster said I get 10 million yen it, uh, for going through with it, right? Perfect! So, you looking to participate? Well, I really ought to think about... You're young, hale, and hearty. And you look to have some lean muscle on that thin frame of yours. You qualify. You'll do. Modra's like, hey... Hey, there is some guy who's a powerhouse back there. You might want him. <laughs> hey, if you need, like, a, a stamina test, oh, do I have the candidate for you? <laughs> I'm not... Stop! What the... <laughs> Hold on I there. Can't. I never said I'd do this. <laughs> what, you're scared? Don't tell me you're a drug test virgin. Mm. God, no, we don't need that word here right now. <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it. It's a virgin. <laughs> oh, no! No, Mr. Libido, please go away! You know, oh. we need this because of him. <laughs> Relax, there's nothing to worry about. You may even come out feeling like you're on cloud nine. It'll feel good. It might feel good. I don't think anything's going to be with I, I think Majima's 10. about ready to get high with the, that kind of drugs. Wait a sec. More importantly, why me? Considering the pay, you should have a line out the door of willing subjects. I don't know how... M I don't know much about drug testing, but that number would raise some eyebrows. Yeah. Well, yeah, our testing is strictly off the record. <clears throat> Say what? Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. We do get a lot of hopefuls, but people rarely meet the <clears throat> rigorous physical qualifications. <clears throat> oh, God. Mm, I don't want to hear rigorous either. What now? In that regard, you're ideal. You'll make a fine specimen. No, no, no. Let's go back to the rigorous physical qualifications part. What's that all about? I'm afraid that until you've signed a non-disclosure agreement, we can't speak more on the subject. I can feel him approaching. <laughs> you know, it would be funny <laughs> if he actually was slowly approaching every time we cut back to Majima. <laughs> Do we Just have your slowly. curiosity? You could come oh, check it out. If you're, of course, welcome to turn around and leave, but then you won't get paid. The dancing game more eccentric. Uh, all right, I'll do it. My curiosity is killing me, and with that much cash on the line, I ain't about to say no. <coughs> That's the spirit. Come with me. Also, something Mr. Libido would say. First, I just need your autograph on this agreement. I think you mean signature, sir. Gotta sign a contract? Don't start whining now. It's just to cover the side effects from the drugs and stuff like that. It's a release form saying we take no responsibility for any bodily harm. What? These drugs aren't safe? <laughs> what are you worried Why about? You think they'd be safe? The poster said they were safe, didn't it? This is getting fishier than the, than the river. And I should know. I fished a hell of a lot in that river. Oh, just put your name on the line, would you? It's just a formality. It only comes Something's... into play if something goes wrong, which is very rare. Nothing to be concerned about. Something smells fishy here, and it's not Mr. Libido. Ew. Ew! <laughs> <clears throat> the guy's basically like, what are you, a chicken bitch? Do it. <clears throat> Did you really come this far only to get cold feet now? Doors that way if you want a baby out of, about it. Bark, bark, bark. Think about it. You'll be assisted in the development of medicine that may even save children all across the world. How many innocent lives are at stake? Just sacrifice could be the, uh, the penitia of humanity itself. Just put your name on the dotted line, would you? I don't mm. trust this guy. <laughs> I, I feel I like if either. I refuse, it might end this. Let's, let's see where this goes. Oh, boy. You're playing a dangerous game here. That's what I need to hear. You're a good man. So, you're Majima. Uh, yeah, that's my name. Okay, I like you, Majima. Try not to die. Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. This is just a cult oh, area. 
His the eyes. The drug test will be conducted here. Pretty big room. Hi, is this him? Yeah, he's your test subject. Ghost by Majima. Excellent. Welcome to Aperture Laboratories. <laughs> it's been so long since we... Since our last failed session, after what happened to the last person, applications dropped right off. I'm so glad we have Majima with us. Wait, what? What happened to the last guy? See ya, Majima. Be a good boy and follow their instructions, will you? I'll see you around, if you make it out alive. Uh -huh. Now, just a hot second! I got a shotgun and I'm not afraid to use it! A golden one. Okay, Majima. Was it? I'd like to begin right away. Sure, whatever. This is the prototype drug uh, we'd have you take. It's named Fatigue-Free Hexening. That's a terrible why, name. Why, what does it do? Why are we back in the temple? That, that's what I was asking. <laughs> Taking this medicine Wait energizes muscle cells throughout the body. For a certain amount of time, you will feel thoroughly invigorated. During that time, you will not feel fatigued no matter how physically active you get. Really? You're gonna start making weird movements. If it pulls it off, you'll have a miracle drug on your hands. Majima, we'll have you take the pills first. Once they take effect, we'll get you to do some vigorous exercise we prepared. Are you okay with that? Mm. Sure, sure. Wait. Let's just get this over with. Give me that fatigue free they start... hex of what is it? They start rolling out the TV in a chair. Oh no. Here you go. Oop. Nothing's happened. It takes a while oh, for the drug to absor be absorbed into your bloodstream. Alright, come in please, everyone. Mm. Hmm? Who are these guys? They're the help. Majima, <laughs> you'll be fighting them in a minute. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. I gotta fight them? It's necessary to confirm the drug's effectiveness. This is why we're looking for someone with a rock-solid physique like yours, Majima. Oh, I get it now. That's why the pay's so good. Huh? Something's wrong. I'm <coughs> starting to feel heavy, like, exhausted. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah, seriously. It feels like all my energy's draining away. I can't barely stand... That's a big problem. We have to gather data to confirm. W what? Hold on. The Our prototype boy drug. The shit out of him. The prototype drug has made Majima extremely prone to exhaustion. In the upcoming battle, Majima's vitality will ebb over time. Be quick to win and watch his HP. Okay, everyone. We'll have you fight a test subject now. Don't forget your instructions, please. Beat the living crap out of him. All right, well, you know what this calls for, right? Shotgun. Hey, bada, 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 bada. <laughs> wow, that just one-shotted everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Watch me, I don't think the use of a shotgun is part of the test. Well, it is now! The freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. Third name. Well done. I don't even think I lost any health because I beat him so fast. How did the test drug affect you? It did nothing like you said it would. I felt like a balloon losing air. Hmm? I see. It sapped your energy. It seems that the test drug has an unexpected side effect. I'm very sorry about that. But your resilience is to be commended, Majima. Despite being hobbled by the test drug, you prevailed. I'm so glad to have you on board. Well, yeah, I had a shotgun with me. Okay, this is the next prototype uh, we want you to try. Huh? I ain't done yet? Yes, for this trial, we would like you to take three drug prototypes in all. So I gotta go through this two more times? Huh. So what's the next drug like? Uh, this is the next drug we call Concentration. Hmm. 
Taking this drug activates your brain cells, making it possible to concentrate like you've never done before. You may feel as though you're gliding through time itself. Sounds brain great if it does what you say. Cells? But considering what happened earlier, we're confident about this one. I think it'll be okay. Besides, we know... You know what they say. Fail failure is the mother of success. That ain't reassuring when I'm the one taking your drugs. Still, part of the job, brain on the concentration pills. Hello? Speaking of water, I need some water myself. Ah, oh, there we go. Not feeling much yet. Yes, like before, it takes a little time before the effects <coughs> manifest themselves. Oh, so you just took the pill, Mod. You have some patience. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Is he gonna pull out the shotgun again? These guys again? They bounce back quick. Don't pull any punches this time either, okay? Huh, <laughs> I think your drug's starting to work. It's making me feel kind of weird. Oh, do you feel as though your concentration has improved? Nah, I can't focus on anything, actually. Pardon? I feel... Bored. This stupid test. These bland walls. Life itself is kind of dull. Oh, dear. What, what's happening? You can't focus now? I can't s stand things staying the same. What's going on? This is bad. We need to get data for analysis. W what? Now, hold on. Prototype drug has made Majima prone to boredom. In the upcoming battle, his battle styles will change randomly. Uh, that won't matter much of a shotgun, will it? Here, I, I cast gun in attack mode. Super effective. Now watch the sh shotgun now, the feisty one. What? Gun in attack mode? No one's ever been able to summon that one before. Oh god, I'm actually really slow now. <laughs> you know, you're technically still also making extra money out of this because you're still beating the money out of these guys. True. Watch, you're not even gonna get 10 million. Oh, watch me see. Oh, yeah, the 10 million from the guys you beat up. I mean, it's still 10 million, so I got what I paid for. <laughs> but what if you don't actually get 10 million? Well, then you some scientists are about ready to catch these hands. What if that's the finale? I'm you sure the finale is going to be. Because they don't want to pay you. <laughs> that and also probably the recruiter. Well done. Oops. Although, at least the water heals me. Can't say this one lived up to the hype, Doc. It made me Man. all fidgety, and I couldn't Some stay focused on any one thing. Water. I see. It made it impossible for you to concentrate. It seems this drug also had an unforeseen adverse effect. I'm terribly sorry. If it hadn't been you testing the drug, we could have had a dead subject on our hands. How exactly is that funny? This is the next drug prototype. You said I gotta take three. Is this the last <laughs> one then? <laughs> you wish. Yes, after the final drug test, we can compensate you properly, Majima. Good, the end's finally in sight. So, what's the last drug about? This is the last drug. We named it Vision Im... Im Improvaxian. I have that's, an eye patch, you dick. That's the best name you got. The, when you take this drug, you actually will grow a new eye in that socket. Oh, Jesus. Taking these, pills increase, the the <sighs> Taking these pills increase the, ati the activity in your optic, optic cells. Your vision will be so enhanced that you may feel as though you were... you. Uh, what you see is frozen in time. That sounds impressive, uh -huh. but after the last two times, I ain't so sure. We're really confident this time. I'm certain you'll be okay. Besides, failure You're... is the mother of success. You were confident the last two times. I only got one good eye left, Doc. You better not be doing anything screwy. It'll be absolutely fine. Trust us. Third time's the charm. 
They also say they three strikes and you're out. They ever explain what happened to Majibo's eye? Uh, yes. It was, uh, like, during the first time we played as Majima. What happened? Because I, I wasn't... They tortured him. Yeah, basically, oh. uh, his sworn brother and him were trying to hit, like, a rival family's, like, hideout. Ma Majima's brother went to, to do it alone. His He wanted to go, but his family kept him from doing so because I think they, like, wanted uh, them his brother to take the fall for the attack or something, or maybe to get killed altogether, but they didn't want Majima to get involved. He protested, and so they... It was basically him going against the wishes of his uh, his clan, and they tortured him and also cut out his eye. Ugh. For over a year. A y oh, Jesus. Yeah, he, Majima has lived a very tough life. And the, and the reason yeah. he's a host of the Grand and also like a cabaret owner, it, it's all actually a punishment. He needs to make a lot of money to get back in with his family. But they keep uh, moving the goalposts, so that way he just keeps making money for them. Well, at least it seems like he enjoys running the cabaret. He actually doesn't. He he actually hates running the cabaret, and he really just wants to get back in with his family. Wonder when he's going to realize they're never going to let him back in. Well, that's also the deal with uh, Makoto, the girl we're trying to protect. It's like, oh, hey, we need you to kill her. But Majima is really apprehensive because the description they gave of Makoto was completely different to who she actually is. So he wants to figure out what the hell is going on with her before anything happens. <clears throat> this better not go sideways. The proper affection take long to appear. Okay, everyone. Is he going to pull out the shotgun again? I don't think we can take another one. <laughs> Glad no, this is the last time. This will be the last test. Please don't hold anything back. Good. Hey, why are you all dimming the lights? Oh, Pardon? no. We aren't doing anything with the lights. Yeah. What? It's getting real hard to see. Uh, but that shouldn't be. I can hardly see. How am I supposed to fight these goobers in this sorry state? We didn't foresee this. We'll have to gather data. Hey, what? Wait! Uh, it's impaired Majima's vision in the upcoming battle. Majima's vision will be temporarily obscured. Don't lose sight of the enemies and earn the reward. For the last time, we'll have you fight our test subject. Now remember, remember your instructions. Beat him to a bloody pulp! Jesus Christ! Eye on the prize. D don't worry, I, I don't need line of sight for a shotgun. Did I get him or did I accidentally shoot the scientists? I don't need good eyesight to shoot and to fire a shotgun. Uh, shoot finally, finally got through that and my sight's coming back. So that's what it'd be like losing my other eye. <laughs> Blind. <laughs> Basically. That's good to hear. Now I know how Makoto feels. Oh. Ah, magic juice. How did the drug affect you? I could hardly see. Keep getting dark and cloudy. So it obscured your vision? Hmm. It seems that every single one of our test drugs produced effects that we hadn't expected at all. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, that yeah, sucks. Fucking opposite. You guys gotta try harder than that. We hope to. We'll use the data we've obtained from you to c conduct more research. Anyways, we're done with the testing today. Thank you f for your most invaluable help. As promised, Can here's you your compensation. This? You earned every yen. Oh, they actually paid me. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. No scientists get beat up today. I gotta admit, that was a pretty rough test, but if these drugs and your data go on to actually save some lives, I guess it made it worthwhile. Oh, right. About that. Eh? Mm -hmm. Well, the drugs we tested today were all dismal failures. There's absolutely no chance that they'll ever see the light of day. So, unfortunately, they'll never save anyone. What? After <laughs> all I just went through... That's a real kick in the dick. 
In that case, I hope you'll be encouraged to return as a subject for our next drug test. Huh? I didn't realize how passionate you were about helping the advancement of medicine, Majima. You're an inspiration. Uh, wait. That ain't what I... It's so rare to find someone like you, Majima. You're the ideal test specimen. Let's work together for the sake of modern medicine next time, too. Oh, hell no! Please, <laughs> together, we can elevate Japanese medical research to new heights. No way, I'm swearing off drug testing for life! No, wait! Majima! <clears throat> He's the perfect man! <laughs> and now, basically, this is going to be the new uh, Mr. Shakedown. It's just drug test, dude. He just pesters you nonstop about wanting to take another test. Give me your body for testing. <laughs> testing, huh? If they want someone young and fit, they should have to go to Mr. Lepido. Seriously. Lady, you will not believe the thing that just happened to me. I offered to chat with the lonely lady who's been writing graffiti on the toilet wall. Hey, there's some new writing under my reply, and it's the same handwriting. What do you like? She wrote back. Guess you can't ignore the networking potential of public toilets, so what do I write in reply? I wear a suit at work, I'm a sex crave perk, my physique is the real deal. Middle one's Mr. Libido, so no. I, I said we go with the bottom one. I'd say go with the suit. Yeah, I'd say suit as well. Alright, fine. Suit mm -hmm. it is. I wear a su suit at work. There. Just tone it like it is. That ought to do. Alright. And before well the reply, like, oh, sorry, I was hoping to talk to someone interesting. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can actually get the final training here. Nope. Actually, I could invest a little bit. And fast. And fast. Why am I so high? Stonks. Increase the power of your regular attacks and heat actions when using Thug. Reverse shin strike, turn and kick, uh, turn and kick an enemy's shin in many cases, cause them to drop to the ground in pain. Or do we want health increase? I don't see it get hit all that often. Alright, I think maybe, uh, increase the power of regular attacks and heat actions. All right, how about now, sir? Nope, not yet. Ah, oh, fine. You need to... God, need to... you have to fully level up everything. I think it's... I needed to get, like, a... I think it was, like... Hold on. It's probably I need to get, like, all the light blue uh, rings filled up before I can do my final training. All right, well, we got some time to kill, so you know what that means. <laughs> it is time... ...to sing! Oh, I was say he's no. getting his vocal cords ready. <clears throat> you said that, but my voice is actually getting a little raspy from all the laughing that we did earlier. I'm just sing my heart out. Alright, let's see if I can actually chroma key that Kappa time. again? No. Are, are you gonna say, uh... The meme song? Yes. I, I still can't believe you, didn't, you had that on the first stream for this. You, you, you didn't notice until, like, one year in the end. Yes. Because when we first did it, it was, uh, the Smash thing. Right, yeah, because you had a gift when we were in the, uh... I forget the level's name, but it has a green background. Hambo? Hambo, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I missed two of them already. Rip. Hmm? Alright, I'm getting tired. I'm gonna head out. Alright, Tamo. Night, Tamo. Night, Tamo. Just had to have a field day with that seed. <laughs> and a field day was had. <sighs> that was great. You're welcome. <laughs> Got it. Ah, damn it. Got it goes fast at that point. So what's happening when this segment plays? Is it just in Kiri in uh, I mean Manjima's mind or I think it's just uh showing that he's really into the song. It's showing all in his, his mind. mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's kinda like, you know, when Curio gets into it. I'm a karaoke. Or I know it's like me or it's like me at work I'm listening to my music on break and I just got like weird scenarios going on in my head with the music. <laughs> yeah, basically that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's basically my my everyday life at work. Ah, uh, good. The bathroom responded to me. <laughs> I need to check my bathroom messages. <laughs> bathroom etiquette. Hmm. I wonder what this toilet talk has to say this time. Is that a Twitter a shitter? <laughs> Shitter's like? full. <laughs> this is where she wrote, what do you like? And my reply was, I wear a suit at work. That's what I wrote in reply, yeah? Hey, there's some new writing under my reply. And it's the same handwriting. I like that, Hart. When you see this message, you can come to the phone booth in Show Fukucho West. I can't wait to meet you. What? The lonely lady wants to meet? I have a red rose in my lapel. I'll be waiting. Don't stand me uh... up, Art. Rena. Wow, so the lonely lady's name is Rena. I can't believe I'm actually making a connection through a bathroom graffiti. I don't trust this. <laughs> Her message looks looks fresh. If I haul down to the phone booth in Shofukucho West, maybe I'll catch the lonely Rena. I don't trust this. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, down there. Well, either way, we might actually be able to recruit her to the cabaret. So, win-win in my opinion. I don't know if it's a girl. Oh, so isn't a lapel a uh, men's clothing item? Uh, I think it's unisex. No, lapels are men's. Hmm. Oh, phone booth. Rena, the lonely lady, is supposed to be waiting around here wearing a red rose on her lapel. Hmm, not seeing her, though. Ah, great. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. We got ourselves a sucker. Hmm? Told ya. You got a problem, <laughs> gents? Fuck. You came here hoping to meet a lovely lady, didn't you? Sucks to be you. She doesn't even exist. Wait a damn minute. Where the sexy lady you're looking for, my friend? One of you fools has the pretty handwriting? Really? Are you thick or what? There was never a woman. She doesn't exist, you dumbass. Damn it all. Uh, here I go killing again. Mr. Lubio shows I heard women. <laughs> all oh, takes no. Is this, all it takes is the scent of a woman to get dumb shits like you to come running. The tongue's out and your dick's pu Nope! You should see the look on their faces when we beat the shit out of them and take any anything worth taking. Sh strangest thing, too. They never seem to go to the cops afterwards. Guess nobody wants to tell the fuzz that they let their dicks do the thinking. <coughs> Pretty goddamn clever, ain't it? Huh? Oh, it's clever, all right. We finally figured it out? Then get ready to lose those fancy clothes and cash... And all the cash you got on you. 
<laughs> what was that? I couldn't hear you over the sound of my shotgun. <laughs> oh man, I'm styling on them. <laughs> what was that? You you were gonna take something from me? I can't hear you over the sound of this boomstick. <laughs> Is there anything we're oh grabbing? Oh my goodness! You love that thing too much. I do. Moon, I think he sleeps in bed with it. Bonk. I, I, I'm... And he is out of there! Uh. Oh wow, I think I actually killed that one guy. Well, I mean... We're sorry, we'll stop luring people out here with pretty handwriting. Please, take this and forgive us. <laughs> uh, TVG, I'm stuck but oh, never, never mind, it fixed itself. Yeah. I guess it's my end. So is to me right, really? I can't believe I fell for the oldest trick in the book. It's a men's bathroom to begin with. Why would a woman be in there signing her name in a graffiti? Rena, my ass. <laughs> Wait, a bathroom? Rena? We were writing on the bulletin board at the train station under the name, uh, Mayumi. Huh? What? Well, screw it anyways. You fools better not be up to this kind of tomfuckery ever again. That is a good word. Um, oh, yes, sir. Never again. Yo, Chan, wait for me. You <laughs> asshole. Serves you right for being so gullible, Goro. I ain't gonna forget this one for a long while. Oh, no, there she is. Majima, you fool! I guess the man in the suit isn't coming after all. What a shame. Uh. Majima, you... Uh, you know what, it was on his... It was on the side that he couldn't even see out of, so I can't really blame him then. All right. Oh, well. Alright, should we head back to the cabaret? Should we do some more of the side stories, or should we head back to the Grand and continue the main story? Uh, let's head back to the cabaret. See what we can do there. Alright. Yeah. The cabaret seems like a fun one. And we, we did... Uh, you know what? Before I go, there was that one girl we could recruit still. I might as well go... Gr oh, hey. Oh, oh no, it's her. Hmm? Hey, you. Huh? I got in a lot of trouble thanks to you. Who the hell are you? Oh. You showed up with Aaron Coon, oh, no. and thanks to you, I got dumped by Tomo. Oh, you're the one who sent Aaron Coon on all those errands. I don't know why you're angry. It's all your fault. Huh? Shut up. Thanks to you, I'm. I'm all. <laughs> hey, hey, stop crying, will ya? Why don't you care so. Why do you care so much about a low life ex boyfriend like him? Your personality ain't much to speak of, but you got a pretty. You got a pretty enough face, maybe. Anyways, you should be able to find a new guy at least as good as your ex. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of pep talk? You're not exactly making me feel better. I ain't trying to make you feel better. Ugh, you're really pissing me off. Oh, that reminds me. I have some business with you. Business? I hear you're a cabaret club, right? Listen. You can hire me and make it up for me screwing up my life. Oh, no. Make it up to you. You know, even <laughs> I got limits to my patience. I don't care about your stupid patience. Look, since I no oh. longer have Aaron Coon, I have to buy the stuff I want myself. My savings got cleaned oh. out like a like she discount wasn't vinegar. She was the money. Oh, no. <laughs> she wasn't. That was all coming out of his pocket. And oh, now this I'm, lady's a scumbag. Uh, Please don't hire her. Please I hope don't there, hire I really her. do hope that there's an option to not hire her. I'm in a real bind because I'm short of money this month. Let's work at your club to make it my rent. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever make money at the club, but I'll teach it. No, Majima, no, you fool. Majima, you dumbass. All right, fine, I'll hire you. Uh, you know what? I'm just never going to put her to work. Yeah, don't. Really? That's great. I'm Emmy. Thanks. Emmy? With a face like that? Hmm. I'm not gonna remember your name. Nah, I got it. Since you bossed Aaron Coon around so much, your name of the club will be Aranda. <laughs> she's not gonna she, be a hostess. Uh, why she's is she a super rank? 
Why is she a silver rank? What? She should be, she should be a bronze. Or dull she iron. Have a rank. Uh, yeah, the, uh, her portrait it was silver and had a crown on it. That means she was silver rank. What what do you mean, Aranda? That's super lame. Huh, it's better it's better than the name that you deserve. You got a problem with it? You can always quit. Grr, fine. I'll take your stupid name. But you just remember, Karma's gonna be a real bitch. Great, Aww. looking forward yeah, to meeting her. Right, you keep talking, lady. Lady, I have a golden shotgun. Don't test me. <sighs> uh, hey, can I, can I help you? <laughs> there we go. I don't know why I wasn't let me intervening earlier. TBG, you found the best anime game at the store. I see your tweet. Oh, uh, you, you found it? That has been yes. sitting there for over half a decade. Freaking mm -hmm. buy it already. I'm... Uh, but then I'd have to say, oh, hey, can I uh, get Cory in the house for the Nintendo DS? Just say you're getting it as a joke. Uh, I, I mean, I guess I could possibly buy in bulk and just add that to the list. <laughs> it's only five bucks, too. Then get it! Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to wear, like, a heavy trench coat, a fedora, like, something oh to obscure God. my face so no one recognizes me. Walk in and be like, yeah, can I uh, get a Cory in the house? All right, thank <coughs> you. I, I can't even make eye contact with them. They're going to be like, we need to. Here, have the money for it, too. Out. Oh, what? what, what, what? God damn it, dragon! <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Fine. Just because you did that, Dragon, next time I'm at the store, I will get Corey in the house. You do it with confidence. I'll do it in you shame. Can't go and wear, you can't go and wear in a trench coat and a fedora. You can't pull a Raphael. <laughs> 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 No, <laughs> you gotta go on like Mr. Libido. No, I'm <laughs> Moon. I'm pretty sure over here that's illegal. <laughs> I'm not going in wearing nothing but some underwear and white shoes. <laughs> TVG, no, you can pull one Raphael as you walk out. You can yell, "Damn to the high heavens!" <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm not finished with you. <laughs> I'm not finished with you. Get back here. Damn! Oh, geez, you to <laughs> Tamma, what are you still doing sleeping. here? Go to sleep. <laughs> but no problem, Tamma. Oh my god. I can't laugh anymore tonight. It hurts. You you all are bad influences. You know that? We're the best influences. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe Majima's gonna run into the girl f that we've been talking to at the bathroom as uh, wanting to work at a cabaret. Oh, maybe. But, but didn't usually the that story ended? Well, yeah, but usually, like, the girls that we meet on Majima's side stories do end up, like, being in the alley next to our club and, uh, want to work there. Hmm. Wonder if I'll say anything when, if she's in the same outfit. Yeah, possibly. Akemi, she's silver rank as well. Good, you can replace someone who is never gonna work a day in her life. Have fun making rent! I wish this. I wish it gave me ideas of where I'm actually. Oh, hey, there we go. Partnership fee, yes. We're literally just gonna buy out the competition. <laughs> oh, 
How many points do I have? Oh, I got six points. We can actually get another girl with us. I kind of wish that uh, partner partnering with other businesses would also be like what Kiryu does, where he just pulls out a briefcase from nowhere and just holds up the money. <laughs> Cha-ching! I would like to pay in cash! I wonder if there's like an item that we can get that will tell us what places we can uh, partner with. Check, check means for a good image I found. Oh no. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What? Uh, look who's coming down the alleyway. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> run! Run! Get away! Dragon. He's like, I see you. I see you, bitch. Okay, we evaded him. Quick, to the temple. Ew. Hi, Bob. You just you just instant transmission instant transmissions behind you. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Moon, you good? That wasn't me. That that was me going. <laughs> Uh, oh, she's gold rank. Nice. Uh, TBG, how in the hell did you even make that? Uh, the I inhaled that air through ring? the. What? It's just a sparkly jacket over a sparkly dress. Too bright! <laughs> ah, it's just the lights talking. Uh, TBG, you, you know you missed a good opportunity to do of him bounding down the alleyway? What? Mother. 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 <laughs> I don't know, being stopped dead in my tracks and having to basically make a run for it was also pretty good because I got distracted by memes. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Drop rates. Yeah, hold on. Let's see if we can fix it. We'll give it a minute. As soon as you clear up on my end. Alright. It's working now. Alright, we're good. Isn't that whole mother thing from uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Uh, no, that's a Looney Tunes thing. Oh, that's right. But I, I swear it happened at, in Ed, Ed, Eddie at one time before, too. Because <laughs> oh. now Daddy probably did, I remember Daffy saying it a few times. Wow, she is having a horrible time here. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see. Wow, she looks so unappealing. Why why is her best that funny? All right, let's see. Put her in. Uh Yuki's good to work. Because it's Did funny to think she'd actually be working. <laughs> okay, touche, touche. <laughs> Just don't put her on the floor. <laughs> She'll leave. I wish there Can was they an actually leave? No. I wish there was an option to fire them, though. The only time you fire someone through your whole career here. Uh, let's see. Talk is really good, and so is her skill. Yeah, we'll put a Kimmy in. Uh, Edo could take a break, though. Alright. Uh... Harumi, you can take her place. <laughs> Alright, time to open for business. These poor girls are like, can we get a makeover? Yumi's the only one that's gotten a makeover, but us. <laughs> well, get good, and then you can. <laughs> ah, shit. I put her with the wrong girl. I put him with the wrong girl. Her beauty is garbage.
Yeah, he's still throwing money though. He's like, okay, yeah. I got a girl. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but his time's like been cut in half, so he's not going to spend as much money. Mm. Ah, shit. Wrong person. Glass. There we go. Yeah, it's ticking down fast. Alright. Tao. Yep, that was Tao. Makes sense. She's making like a raining uh, thing with the hands. Oh, hold on. Which like ah, nope. Alright. Oh, yeah, so your thoughts on uh, Chun Li and Ryu being in Fortnite? <laughs> At this point, Fortnite's just a fever dream. <laughs> Didn't we just talk about this last night? <laughs> I think so. I think we did. And I think you said the exact thing in TBG. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> I've been in this place before. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. We've been in this cabaret so many times tonight. Well, you do kind of run the place. True. Ashtray? Nope. Fuck. Alright, uh... Glass? That's a lady's glass. Okay, yeah, it's a lady's glass. Fever time! Fever time! <laughs> Again? So much fever time! Ashtray. Okay, that's the ashtray hand sign. Yeah, I'm, I'm really working this emote today, aren't I? <laughs> Give him a gracious send-off. <laughs> it's like we over the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Would you like to extend your stay? Damn. I think only when, so, like, they're at their happiest, they'll agree to it, an extension. So what's up, Dragon? So does the poor thing? Does that just mean they're uh, they're economy class, basically? Yes. Uh, it just means they okay. don't they don't have a lot of money on them. Okay. And yet they're in a cabaret. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the other cabaret that we had to save the girl from, uh, they went bankrupt because they kept spending so much money there. That's what I mean. <laughs> hey, at least here we, we the, I believe. A module at least gives them a cutoff. Uh, what was that one? <laughs> Ice? Yes. <laughs> now I'm just seeing a little from play Ice Ice Bentley. <laughs> More ice. I still don't know why I heard Bentley at first during the cutscene. <laughs> it's like the nasally voice that you probably could hear. Yeah. That whole scene just made me uncomfortable. I was like, uh, uh what? <laughs> I, I, I think it's supposed to establish that the person we're going to meet at the Grand is a scumbag. Uh, obviously. How many scumbags have we met been during this playthrough? Too many. We've met Mr. Libido. <laughs> How dare you say Mr. Libido's a scumbag? He's the peak he is... of perfection of hu human physiology. Oh, He's not a scumbag, but a rhymes with it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I just threw up a little bit in my throat. I didn't even hear that part. <laughs> 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 
I say it's not a scumbag, but it rhymes with it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go bang my head against the wall now. <laughs> TBG, cue your bonk button. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Ow. You know, I'm surprised that I restrained myself from hitting the bonk button the entire time we were dealing with him. <laughs> I, I think, was too. I, I think it was because we were laughing too hard, I couldn't even reach it. <laughs> Just down the floor, like, like desperately trying to reach for it. Uh, uh, must. Bonk. Then it's libido pressing it. Reach it. <laughs> libido too strong. <laughs> Laughter killing me. <laughs> it was killing all of us. Even Tamo. Oh my god. This game, it breaks us almost every time you do it. There's always something like really funny or there's like something really sad. Like we'll have the funny moments of we'll be dying of laughter and then all of a sudden we'll be like sad. <laughs> Punching the gut with the feels. God damn it, worry. I I think it all started when I point out that one guy looked like Elvis Presley. <laughs> we, we got a year's worth of people from the area, so nice. Nice. So when are you gonna so when are you gonna go in the moons area? Uh once we're done with this area. We topped hundred uh fifty yeah, we topped fifteen hundred fans <laughs> from the Club Mars area. Gotta defend your turf moon. Huh? Well done, Yoda. Looks like our hard work paid there's off. Really, there's really an area called Moons Moons area. I, I saw that. I, I, I was waiting. That, to say I think something. that's the last area that we have to go to because it has the most fans in it. But Hino's gonna be not isn't gonna take this line down. Oh no, this is really bad. Simmer down, Yuki. Don't cause a ruckus. I can't simmer down. We got a challenge from Club Mars. A challenge, huh? Looks like we're finally going up against them head-to-head. -head. Wonder how that works. According to the challenge, it says we fight it out in a cabaret club battle. Cabaret club battle? What's that? No clue. Oh, no. A cabaret club battle? What's the matter, Yoda? Pull yourself together. You know something about the Cabaret Club battle thing? Yes. It showed him Bori's Cabaret Industries' rare but terrifying method for clubs to duke it out. Do Cabaret Clubs compete by running their businesses and determining who makes more money? That sounds pretty normal to me. Why is that so terrifying? The losing club, in the worst case scenario, the losing club has to close up shop. Seriously? A Cabaret Club battle puts the club's prestige on the line. The losing club will be branded as a loser, and the reputation will be ruined. Fans will drift away. As a result, many clubs have been forced to close. Really? The so-called battle has that much influence? Yes, it doesn't show Tambori. There are so many customers who choose a club based on the results of the recent battle. The five stars have built their power by defending their competition by defeating their competition in Cabaret Club battles and shutting them down. And now we might be next. So the gist of it is, if this battle is so important, it could shut down the whole club, eh? Majima, you're gonna accept the Hino's battle challenge, right? Yeah, I was going to. But maybe we better talk about that a little more, you know? If you got any reason you want to back down, Yoda. To be honest, I don't want to lose Club Sunshine. Yeah, I hear you. But if we went back and went back down now, there'd be no fortune for Shotun Boy's cabaret clubs. Majima? Yeah? Let's do it. Let's do the cabaret club battle. We can't let the five stars continue the reign of terror. Yoda? If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it to win. I might not be much help, but I'll do my best. Huh, <laughs> of course. I'll help. I'll work as much as my salary can cover. I'd be no different than any other day, wouldn't it? Club Mars is a powerful opponent. Let's make sure to sort out the staff lineup and get ready before we do this. And you now choose the battle against Club Mars in the cabaret management menu. All right, I'm and this is all just a side quest, isn't it? This is all just a side story. The main story is over at the Grand. Oh no. 
What's with this music? Mm -hmm. Let me drop stream a little bit. Funky. Oh no. Guess one of the girls left the radio on. Talk about it, absent-minded. Sheesh. Huh? Where's the damn off switch? This button here? Your fist. Whoa. Yeah. What the hell? Meh. All I think I did was change the station. Ugh, this DJ's voice is killing me. Where's the damn off switch? Hi, Doris Kamiya-san. I listen to your show all the time. Hello to you too, and thanks. I have a girlfriend I adore, but th at but this morning at breakfast we got into a huge fight. That doesn't sound like a complete part to anyone's morning. The argument was over what kind of condiment to put in a sunny side up egg. People <laughs> really argue over uh, over what goes on a fried egg. Come on. I use soy sauce like my self-respecting Japanese like any self-respecting Japanese man, but she used uh, tonkatsu sauce. Can you believe that? Well. Everyone else has a preference. Since then, we haven't exchanged a single word. Some things are more important are important enough to take a stand on. Maybe so, but some things aren't so important either. <laughs> P.S. What do you put on your eggs, Kamiya? The thinking driver's son, you're making a monstrous boo-boo. Fighting with your girl over something like that. I think you need to apologize for being so saucy. Whoa! By the way, I put ketchup on my fried eggs. The hell's with this goofy ass radio show? Eggs. They actually read postcards like live on the air about to this drive. Oh, would you look at this? This is the third postcard we've had to read on the air from the Thinking Driver Son. Congratulations, the Thinking Driver Son. We'll have a fabulous prize heading your way. I'm not saying what, but it it's worth the cool million yen. What the a million yen? Oh, it's time already. Too bad. So sad. But that's our show for today, folks. All right, then. Make sure to tune in again. Goodbye, and see you next time. This lunatic is going to fork over a million yen just for writing on the, his radio show? What a world we live in. Makes a question the value of money. Even worse, they really read postcards about fried eggs and fight live on air? I bet I could write in and be twice as interesting. Hey, Majima, <laughs> is Dos Kamiya's show over already? Yeah, he just went off the air, actually. First time I'd heard it. But that stuff's bonkers. <laughs> I think it's very very entertaining. His show is known for the pointless postcards he reads and his silly commentary. It makes you want to tune in every day. <sighs> Yuki, I didn't know you had to... We had an expert in the house. That mean you're the one who's guilty of leaving the radio on? Oh, sorry. I heard the ad for coming to show and gave me an idea to, for a postcard to write in. I went out and bought some, actually. But now I forgot what I was going to write about it. I know it was amusing, though. So you've been writing in, Yuki. Ever get a postcard read on the air? I kind of doubt it, knowing you. Hey, not yet, but I will. There's a ton of people who write in, you know? So, it's not so easy as it sounds. You sure about that? I bet I could... Get on there as easy as snapping my fingers and clicking my heels. Find them, Majima. Put your money where your pen is. I'll leave some postcards on the table. Consider it done. Three postcards read, read live on the air and a million yen coming right up. It's already in the bag. <laughs> Everyone thinks that at first. Just don't cry if you don't make the cut, okay? Give me some time. I'm going to cook up some humble pie and serve it to you cold, Majima style. There's a tale we're sharing on the radio. I ought to write about it in a postcard. Oh boy. Once you complete certain sub-stories, Majima can write about the experiences in the postcard. As access the desk to submit topics to the radio station. Maybe you'll get lucky and end up being featured on the postcard. <laughs> you better not write about Mr. Libido. 
<laughs> so today I met this weirdo who always dances in his underwear. And then also, I chatted with a girl in the men's bathroom, but unfortunately, it turned out to just be a bunch of dudes trying to jump me. So I blasted them with a shotgun. <laughs> this mm, mm, mm. fucking game. Before I start with brain postcards, I gotta decide on a pen name. What's good? Goro Majima, Goro 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 Chan, or Angel of Darkness? Uh, Sephiroth. <laughs> Majima. Majima. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the air. I ought to make a big splash with a real cool name. Hmm. Lord of Evil, Dark Harbinger, Dude of Darkness. Got it. The Angel of Darkness. Eh. Kind of cheesy. Maybe something else. All right, fine. How about Goro 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 Chan? Huh? How about something catchy that still says it's me? Bo 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 bo. <laughs> it's, I got it. It's my name. It's a lot of goes, bet, and uh, that's all perfect. The word. Do I want to uh, scribble off a postcard to Dos Camias radio show? Let's write. So today I joined a cult. It turned out to just be some weird sex thing, and I beat up a pervert guru. All right, so we got the heart necklace fake, uh, the street performer, pretend boyfriend, men with a stranger's face, the cult's disciple, man with a bag phone, the taxing issue, crossing word, uh, crossword, stadium jumper strut, the 10 million yen drug test, errands on the run, or courtship and graffiti. Oh, uh, we're going to do the 10 million drug test. Oh, uh, okay. So today I joined this shady underground program. I can write about taking part in a drug test with all those terrible prototype drugs. Let's see now. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Hey, Yuki, can I get you to drop this postcard at the mail later? Mm -hmm. Huh? Isn't that for Dos Kamiya's show? Can't you mail it yourself? I'm a little busy with this and that, Yuki. Can't you do it me a solid? Uh. Oh, alright. I'll mail it for you. You're an angel, Yuki. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if your postcard gets picked. Oh, they read my postcard on the air. Better tune to Dos Kamiya show next time. You know, we've been having so much fun. We're already at time. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? It's our, almost 2.30. So, here... I doubt we can get another cabaret thing done tonight. Should we go... But at the same time, I want to go to the Grand and uh, see what that guy that invited us there is about. But I don't know how long that's going to take, so should we call it Sounds here, it. or should we go to the Grand and at least uh, see what we have in store for us next time? I feel like we should call it here, because that's probably going to be a really long cutscene. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Alright. And I'm sure everyone's pretty tired. Also, my voice, if you haven't heard, is starting to kind of die on me from all that laughing. God. I think we all kind of died a little on that, the inside uh, with that, that whole thing. That, yeah, a little on the way. inside, that mostly on the outside. Way. Also, we did a lot of stuff tonight, for crying out loud. You did. Alright. Well, then that is where we're going to end it off tonight. Oh. Alright. So, with that, might as well go over what's to come. Uh, tomorrow, of course, Mario 3D World with me and Dragon. Mm -hmm. The crown is mine. <laughs> it, no, like like hell it will over my dead body. I'll make it dead. <laughs> Bring it. We share a life. If you kill me too many times, you'll you'll get a game over as well. You know I'm crazy enough to do it. <laughs> Damn it, he's oh, right. Dear. Uh, what else? Uh, Sunday. Seeing as how we couldn't finish Link to the Past on. Thursday, we will finish it up properly on Sunday. And if we do actually finish it up at a decent time, maybe some Ninjala, because, you know, it's always going to be a Ninjala night here. <laughs> uh, let's see. No stream on Monday or Tuesday, because I just want to take a break and focus on work and other stuff at home. Wednesday, of course, we'll continue the Battalion Wars challenge stream, and possibly we could finish that up to, uh, that night, and if we do, then possibly jump into the sequel and continue the challenge into there. Thursday, of course, uh, well, 
it's going to be the next game clearing, and I have to get the trailer out for that, so I'm probably going to pull an all-nighter to get that finished up. Oh, no. Don't worry, I only got, like, two more uh, trailers to add for it, and then uh, it should be good to go. 20 hours in a tail. And then Friday, of course, <laughs> will, will be more of this. But yeah, that's the schedule for the whole week. Uh, what are we going to raid with? Let me see if anyone is still streaming right now. There, there were so many... There were so many good it's... choices. Go ahead, Dragon. It's gotta be something related to Mr. Libido. Uh, what, what were some things about Mr. Libido that we could say? That won't what get, get us in trouble. Almost everything is that are things that would get us in trouble. <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> Dragon, you got anything? I'm blanking. Uh. Wait, you you got what were the snake things you kept getting? Uh, snake heads. Game? Snake heads. Why did it have to be snake heads? That that's good. <laughs> Oh, TBG, what level are you in Ninjala? Like, 20-something. I'm already level 14. I'll probably play a little Ninjala while I, I let the video process, although at this hour, I doubt a whole lot of people are playing it. Well, earlier in I he got with the gym matches. Alright, we are going to raid Solitario, who is playing Dark Souls right now. Looks, uh, it also looks like it's a blind playthrough, so go give them support. Dark Souls is a really good game. I've It's the only one that I've ever actually 100%ed, and I am never doing that again. <laughs> I, I tried playing Dark Souls, I just couldn't get into We're it. We're going to raid with hashtag, why did it have to be snakeheads? Uh, yeah. That's where we're going to end it off tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all had a good time, and hopefully you didn't get driven to the, the brink of insanity like the rest of us. <laughs> Tamo made that scene. <laughs> she really did. Good night, everybody. Bye, Tamo. <laughs> oh, hi, Rez. How's it going? Damn it. Thing pulled, oh didn't do it this time. You almost got me. <laughs>